Bum, bum, bum. Oh, look at all these. Oh my god, look at all the events. Gift of st Stellarium. Stellarium. The free 10 special passes. Ooh. Alright, this is the new Trailblaze mission that we're gonna do. Dream Chaser Bulletin. This is the event. I think this is the main event. Festival Invitation. Invite your friends and experience throws at the amusement park in Penacone. Earn up to 540 Stellar Jades. I forgot what that what that does later. Oh yeah, and this is Black Swan. I'm not gonna wish for her. I don't know if I want to wish for her. No, I I know I'm not going to. Yeah, I know I'm not go I'm not going to because I don't have good I don't have Kafka, and I know people have said that she's only really good if you have Kafka. If no Kafka, then not. Yeah, I don't have Kafka, so I will not be getting her. I will. I will probably get Sparkle though when she comes. How long is the banner right now? Twenty-two days. So twenty-two days from now, I'll probably try and get Sparkle. How does it feel to be one of the lucky Lacha havers? <laughs> it feels good. I get carried throughout most of my game. Most of my gameplay is being carried by Lacha. How many units are universally useful? Yeah. What about, was that the beginner banner? Yeah. I haven't done the last 10 warps on it because I don't feel like it. And I want to keep the departure warp like I do in Genshin. I want to keep the, the standard, the beginner warp, like I did in Genshin. You have Lodge, but no Hua Hua? Neither do I. I think Lodge is better, though. I like Lodge better. Let me see. Who was I upgrading again? Uh, I think it was Pela. Yeah, it was Pela. Oh, wait. I need a... This isn't the correct set for her, actually. I forgot which set... Oh, yeah. It was the wind set, right? The wind set is best on Pela, I'm pretty sure. I need to farm a wind set for her. What's wrong with Yan Qing? He's mid. He's mid. He's middling. I'm sorry, Yanqing. You're cool. You have a cool design. And you're also voice acted by the same voice actor for Dihya. But you're mid. I'm not getting bacon and waffles. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. My fault. Yanqing, you're cool. I will use you. He's the potential man of Hawkeye Star Rail. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's actually true. Meet potential man. No slander to my baby Yanqing. Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad. I mean, I've I haven't planned to use him yet because Jing Liu does everything better than him. So Jing Liu is better than. Yanqing, 100%. Also, did the store update as well? Let me see. The store update? It did. The payload now. Grab these, quick. I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna have to wish on the standard banner eventually. He's D tier, you pretty sure Hook is better? Yeah, everyone is better than, than him, unfortunately. He's just really bad. Sadly. Sadly. Alright. Alright, so now...
So now, we are gonna go to Penicone. Let's start the Trailblaze mission. Fate's Atlas is unlocked. Click here to check the progress of your Trailblazing expedition. Fate's Atlas pre presents the important events you may encounter in the Trailblazing expedition. As your Trailblazing expedition progresses, you will have the chance to be involved in more important events. You can review the current events unlocks criteria on the locked events details page. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Done all of these. Very nice. Yeah, you can see I've done I've done all of the You can see I've done all the lofo stuff. It's just the footage is gone. Like up to here. Like where was it at? Um I think yeah, it was up to this boss. Up to this boss, the abundance deer boss, was where the footage afterwards got deleted. So this this entire arc here, or like this entire section, was deleted. So I can't make the video about the Lofu anymore. I just have to skip it and go to Penacone, straight to Penacone, unfortunately. So yeah. Unfortunate, but at, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it anymore. So yeah, uh, basically for the YouTube frogs, if you don't already know, and you're probably confused, if you haven't seen the community post that I made, basically I'm skipping the Xiancho Lofu quests because most of the footage from it got deleted. From up to, from, um, I had some recordings left up until the Abundance Deer boss, as you can see here. I did, I did keep recording up until the Abundance Deer boss. And after the Abundance Deer boss, basically this entire section, the top clouded tower thrust, I don't know how, but it just got deleted. So it's all gone. And it would feel awkward for me to just completely, to have like a bunch of videos of the Xiancho Lofu and not be able to include this. So whatever happened in here, you can go probably see someone else play it. Um, but you won't be able to see me play it. Do I know what happened? Yeah, I know what happened. I mean, I played through all of it. I played through all of it. And I still remember what happened. You know, Ting Yun died. Ting, Ting Yun died. We defeated Fantilia. We saved the Lofu. So I know what happens. But all that footage is gone. And then also, and then I did record this. I did record this section. I did record this section, but I just, again, I don't feel like it would be right for me to have to skip all of this. Like not be able to show my reactions or all of this and have to go straight to, straight to literally Ting Yun's funeral. So it's gone. I'm skipping. I'm skipping all of it. Unfortunately. But for now, at least Pentacony's here. We can go play Pentacony. I'm sure it would I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine to not show off the lawful footage. <sighs> Wanna see my reaction to Don Hung and Beverly Lune? Yeah, I know. All of those reactions are gone, which is sad. But it is what it is. Professional content creator, by the way. I, I know. It's like, I don't know what happened. I don't know how I accidentally deleted it. Because I had it saved in my folder for months. And then all of a sudden, it's just gone. So I just don't know where, where it went. And I searched throughout my entire computer to see where it was. And it's, it's not there. Did I watch the Pentacony Tonight Show special program? No, I haven't yet. I did see that Jake and Dish were featured in it, though. I did see like 10 seconds of it, of them being introduced to it, which is, which is really cool. I'm really proud of them. 
It's very cool that they were able to uh, finally become canon in the Honkai Star Rail universe. That's funny. How about my trash? I checked my trash. My trash, it's not there. And I usually clear out my trash because I'm, ha I'm having to delete like a lot of videos, like VODs and stuff. So yeah. But anyways, moving on. Moving on. We are going to be starting Pentacone now. And, I'll, I'm all, and I'm also using face cam for this. This is going to be like the first time I try to use face cam for stall rail stuff. I don't know what everyone's opinions are going to be about it. If you want to let me know how you feel about it, just let me know in the comments. Um, but I do want to try using my face cam more for these story reactions because I feel like it does add a little bit more to the videos. If you could see my face and my reactions. Because sometimes, you know how sometimes I just... You know how sometimes where I'm just like completely silent and I just let everyone else do the talking? I feel like sometimes it's a little awkward, especially during like the, um, during the special cutscenes where, where I'm just like completely silent. I feel like having my face does allow me to show more of my reactions to it. So yeah, it's going to be on YouTube too. Yeah, it is. All right. So the Astral Express family. Hey, 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 hey. Don dot dot dot. Hello, what's up? What's up? What's up? Are we ready to set off to the next stop? We sure are. The warp jump device is all calibrated. But as the express conductor, I have three things I wanted to stress before we depart. That's why I'm here for this little express meeting too. All right, then you know the rules. We'll meet in the parlor car. All right. Let me just change my team real quick, actually. Should I use... You know what I should do? Proceed there we go. Caution. I've got your back. Instead of using regular Don Hung, I'm using Embibber Lune. So he's not... So this team isn't as weak. Actually... I feel like we could use Locha too. Yet another. Why not? Why not? Because we do need a healer in this party. And there's nobody in the Astral Express that's a healer yet. <laughs> nobody in the Astral Express is a healer. So, unfortunately, it's not, com it's not a completely lower accurate. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. Everyone's here. Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem! Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Pom Pom! Came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. Pom Pom's so cute. Hmm. I love seeing Pom Pom. They're so cute. Uh, so... <clears throat> so what came up? new our next destination is the planet of festivities Panacone. yeah I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel but before we set off i should remind everyone of three things first Panacone is located in asdana a star system brimming with memoria which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Mm -hmm. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Okay. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different. So if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptoms, you should take them seriously. <laughs> he said, hmm, you may experience dizziness, hallucination, Alteration of your memories, maybe even death. But if you experience those, just let me know. Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. True, Got true. It. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Rome? True. Uh, anyway. Well, I mean. Third and final.
final. Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. Uh huh. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Uh, we're getting new crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. Okay. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Mm -hmm. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. Mm -hmm. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. Yeah. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Oh, so there were previous members there that are in Penacone right now. Um, well, it's been so long though, but we still be able to find them. Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and mm. Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? True. Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't mm. it? Mm. According to the passenger list, Makes sense. the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, it's just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names either. <laughs> this will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. She said, these people are not real. <laughs> you guys realize these people are not real? We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. Mmm, I see. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump! Okay, pom pom. Thank There's you. still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Now we get to talk with everyone. It's been a while since we've been able to talk with everyone. Girl, your name is Mart? <laughs> True. Get her ass. Get her ass. Hello, Walt. How's it going? All packed and ready? Yep. There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. Yeah, no surprises at... Like, as far as we know. <laughs> um, you look relaxed. You seem disappointed. Relaxed or disappointed? Maybe disappointed. Of course not. Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Mm -hmm. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Nice. Welcome to the Interastral Peace Broadcast. Good evening, everyone. I've never heard this before. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. The IPC and the Sienjo Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. Oh boy. The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert I. The ruins rank as a Category Omega site on the Potential Disaster Index. Huh? Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. Robin. I think we are going to see her, yeah. I don't remember what she looked like, though. has gathered memoria fragments from the lost world of Moonshield. The precious memories of this world will not be forgotten. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at the details. 
Regarding the IPC and the Xianzhou Alliance, the Xianzhou La Fu has opted to renew the trade agreement. Bleh. The agreement will help to open up markets and promote cooperation between the two sides in agriculture, industry, medicine, and culture, laying a solid foundation for a free, open, and prosperous business environment. Well, I sure do hope that... I sure do hope that the law food doesn't... get... I sure do hope that the law food doesn't get screwed over by the IPC, because as we know, the IPC are pretty shady. It's... You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. Mm -hmm. I'm excited, too. I trust Penicone won't let you all down. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Mm -hmm. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Okay. So there's something, there might be something more to the invitation. So let me make sure the game is loud enough. But okay, yeah, it's definitely not loud enough. Okay. Is this good enough sound for you guys? Is it loud enough? Too loud, too low? It's good. Alright, that's good. Don Hong! Hi Don Hong. Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Aww, he's not coming. No. Well, you should come with the. Okay, well, I, I mean, I respect it. I respect it. Well, well, why not though? Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places, and. <laughs> Someone has to handle the work on the express. I guess. Pay yeah. no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Mm, um, okay. I'd advise double checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check in. Hmm. They keep telling us to check our bags. I feel like something's gonna pop up in regards to our bags. Why is there a Bora on the Express? That's Puffball. Puffball, um, you could get Puffball, I think, from the the Pokemon event. The, uh, what was it called? I think it was Ethereum Wars. You could have gotten Puffball from the Ethereum Wars event. So. He's in, uh... He was our companion during that event, and he stayed. Hi, March. Uh, camera, check. Extra clothes, check. Toiletries. Aw, drat. The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. How do they deliver? Do you think they have, like, a inter- Like, a inter-astral- Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? Um. Hmm. Take me. <laughs> Take me with you. Uh, you won't fit in the suitcase. Can't you walk? No. Uh, maybe I, I should my legs. bring some novels or comic books. At least then I won't be too bored while staying in the hotel room. But these books are so heavy. Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? Hmm. It's about time. I should find a seat. I hope March doesn't accidentally bring something that she shouldn't have. Uh oh. She's always so silly. She's just a silly girl. Silly, silly girl. All right. Let's go. The train is about to is she gonna stand? Five, is she gonna be standing four, again? Please show us. Three, two, I don't see her standing. Three. Well, what the? Uh, 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 
Wait, where the hell? We didn't even get there and we're already in a dream. What the hell? Erm. Um. <sighs> Not another one. Oh, hello. What the? <laughs> where are we? Wait, hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Where are we? Come with me. Uh, what? Who are you? These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Okay, so we did enter a dream. <laughs> we accidentally <laughs> went into a dream. Oops. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams' inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Nah, I won't. I'm built different. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. All right. I like her hair and her eyes. Yeah, she does Left, look like the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Yeah, she does kind of look like uh, a or like the right in May. Pretty. I like the bubbles there. It's very relaxing. Dude, lava lamps! I've always wanted a lava lamp. But I think you have to you have to take care of them, right? They do require some maintenance. But I've always wanted one because it seems so cool and relaxing to look at. This painting here. Kinda reminds me of the uh the cards that we see in the what was it called? What is it called again? Oh, we can't even get out. Hmm. Something seems strange about this warp jump. The moment you open your eyes, you find that you have disappeared from the gentle sofa of the parlor car and been transported to an unfamiliar place. What is this place? Hmm. Okay. Dang. The whales! Have you guys noticed that there is a recurring theme of whales in Star Rail? I'm not there. Turn back. My fault. Wait, I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see. <laughs> it's my fault. My bad. <laughs> yeah, there's a recurring theme of whales Galaxy in Star Ranger Rail. Acheron. This is what they call me. Acheron. You can call me whatever you want. Wow. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. Mm hmm. It's very pretty. I love the blue bubbles. She sounds bossy. She might be edgy. This is. Oh, no way. Wow. Whoa, look at that. This way. Why don't you try to take in the scenery? Give me a sec. Ow. Super cool. After you. She <laughs> is so bossy. Oh. Walk up the wall? Oh, I guess here we go. Oh, oh, that's trippy. Possible. Whoa. <laughs> Why not? Okay, that's trippy. She can hear the thoughts in my head? Oh, she can hear us too. <clears throat> Why not? Oh, probably because we're in the same dream. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's going to give a lot of people motion sickness. But that's cool. That's cool for me. This is cool as hell. Jesus. Tripping out. That's cool. That's cool. There. 
Can you still walk? Yeah. Um, now I have become Trailblaze, the per- the perambulator of walls. <laughs> I have become you're funny. Myth. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. Okay. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. What, in here? <gasps> Branya! These voices... I saw, I saw several wolves. shadows of the dreamscape. That's Sam. Pay no heed to them. There's Sparkle and Black Swan. And who was, wait, who was that back there? I don't see, wait. Or she said don't turn back, whatever. Well, okay, okay, all right, all right. Your game, real trippy. You could talk to them for dialogue? Wait, I'm gonna go back then. Can I go back? Please let me go back. I don't know that we could talk to them because he said not to turn back or look around. Let me talk to uh, let me talk to Silverwolf and Sam first. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Sam is so cool. He's so cool. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you. Little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? She can't sing? Hmm. Oh, hey, Dr. Ratio! Oh, the charming audacity to think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. <laughs> They're gambling right now. <laughs> Nah, they're already gambling, bruh. All right, what's up, Sparkle? Keeper, do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. Dang, she just rejected Sparkle. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> He's you for real, it's all or nothing, all in. Ten leg parlay or nothing. We're here. Welcome to the oh. reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Hi Misha. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But what if I don't want to forget? But before you do, I would make a request of you. Okay. What's up? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Ooh. Ooh, they gave us choices. Um. Why is it red? That is true. I think this is gonna affect something. What do I say? Mm. Water. Let me drink some water. Make my mind clear. Wrong answer ruins your account. <laughs> you make the wrong answer, you lose your 50-50 on her banner. <laughs> Perhaps we have, because you know what she she does remind me of, right? She does remind me of uh, May from Honka Impact Third. 
as well as uh, A in Genshin. She does have the similar color scheme, and she does kind of give off vibes of May. So... I'm gonna say perhaps we have... Ooh, I hope this doesn't... Mm, I don't know what to say, but I'm gonna just say perhaps. Because I don't even remember my memories either. Evoke memories of an old friend. Mm. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. Hmm. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Mm. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Mm. Okay, I see what they're doing here. These, these are definitely texts that are probably going to change the outcomes of some things. I feel no fear. Holy Giga Chad. Um, I cannot bear such a fear. If it means losing them, I would. If it means that I will disappear, I would. Hmm. I do fear losing them, personally. I do feel like I don't want to lose them. So I'm gonna put this. This is just a reasonable option for me. This one is just, I'm being funny. <laughs> I'm putting this one. I'm gonna be honest with her. Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Hmm. Hmm. Does she mean, would I wish to stay in Pentacone? In the dream forever? Ooh. You would stay for her? <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh. I mean, that's a hard choice, actually. Because yeah, I don't I wanna I don't wanna stay in a dream forever. That's you know just escaping from I don't wanna escape from reality like that. But at the same time, if that kind of I feel like that kind of says that something will happen to them in the future and like staying here would be a better would be better than reality. Because I did say that I would rather not lose them at all. I do fear losing them. Losing everyone on the Astral Express. So staying all so staying in the dream means I can keep everyone in the Astral Express or live in a reality where they don't leave. I think it depends. It depends for sure. So I'm just going to say it depends on the price that I would have to pay. Now 
Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Mm. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, mm. I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Ooh. That's the toughest one so far. Ooh, that one kind of scares me, actually. That one's a hard choice, for sure. I would abandon it. The price is too dear. I would abandon it. I have already tasted the beauty of dreams. I would abandon it. Trailblazing was never my intent, or I would blaze a trail without hesitation. Being a trailblazer is pretty much our job, besides holding a Stellaron. That's true. I mean, I could just say, I don't know. <laughs> I could just say, mm. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you asking me this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? What is this important for? But that, that wouldn't be me being honest. But, I mean, I really don't know. Because that is a tough question. I was thinking truly drowsy for, for the Prime. Thank you. Also, I have alerts turned off because this is going to be in a YouTube video. So, actually, hold on, let me uh, pull up stream elements real quick. So I can just make sure I'm not missing, like, donos. Am I pulling for Black Swan? Nah. Black Swan requires Kafka, and I don't have her in my party. I don't have Kafka, so no Black Swan for me. Um, I will be pulling for Sparkle, though. And also, thank you, Crimson Death with 100 bits as well. Why is it these to the loss? Thank you, Crimson Dale. Okay. All right. So, I don't know what to answer for this. Maybe I should just say I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I really should just say I don't know. <sighs> but I don't feel like that's a good answer. Just be honest if you don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm stumped. I'm, I'm definitely very... That is a tough question to answer for me. So I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm probably gonna be like one of the only people that says, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Bad ending. Them. With emotions, we make choices. Worst and so ending. And we return to the original question. Worst ending possible in coming. I would ask, do you still remember me?
Do I? Do I lie or do I tell the truth? Because I don't know who she is, but like, I don't... Uh, do I... Does the trailblazer know who she is? And is she asking us or the trailblazer? I don't... I don't know. I think I want to stick with my first answer though. Like I seem to remember her from somewhere because if I say that I don't remember her, I I feel like I would be lying. Don't lie, she could read your thoughts, true. I'm going to say I remember her from somewhere. Just to stick with the story. Be consistent. <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. Is she breaking the fourth wall? <laughs> that was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. If she just called us out. <laughs> well, we meet again? Golden Dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. Mm. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. Oh shit. So we did make we did make choices that matter. Fuck. Oops. Oops. What you must do now is ponder its significance. Uh. And then you can return to the waking world. Damn, she just fucking. We all find our answers. Damn, she just decked us. She was crying too. Did I make the wrong choice? Did I make the wrong choice? No way, man. No way. What's wrong? Why are you crying all of a sudden? Did I just make the wrong choice? Oh fuck. It's universal. <laughs> Account ruined. <laughs> Himiko dies. Himiko dies. Pom Pom disappears. March is frozen again. Don Hung just disappears. GG. Um I dreamed of a riddler spouting strange talk. Um I may have dreamed of an old friend. Uh, sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already... Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Petaconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. <laughs> I wish I could wander Petaconi streets today, but... I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. I'll make sure to take pictures for you, Pom Pom. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? Take that back about Don Hung. What if he just does disappear? What? My trouble is level. Nah, I didn't collect the rest of these. Oops. Thank you. I just had these sitting here. Uh. 
Nice, we maxed out. I wonder if we'll ever introduce more levels. You know what would be so, so funny? If they actually do increase the Trailblaze max level. Wouldn't that be so funny if they did increase the Trailblaze level max? Way before Genshin ever did. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Welt and Himeko beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Mm, shall we go meet up with them now? Yeah, let's go. Panacone, the planet of festivities. The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. Yeah. Wow. I love the aesthetic of Penacone. It's so pretty. <laughs> We're here at last! Oh, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Uh, well, thankfully they didn't. The Stellaron is stable. Uh, aside from that... I have to say, the family has been really accommodating. Imagine they just like reach inside of him and be like, What's this you got here, huh, buddy? Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. And those endless rows, they're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. <laughs> Where are our rooms? But come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Is this Misha? Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Hi, Misha. Uh, it's the child from the dream. Do you work at this hotel? I'm Misha. A bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here. Something's not right. What? Should you need Already? assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. No way, we already have something going wrong at the hotel. How is it that every single time we go to a hotel, something goes wrong? Welcome to the Reverie. May you have an unforgettable holiday. <clears throat> Should you need assistance with moving your luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. So I hear this hotel is pretty unique. Uh, yeah, it is. The Reverie does not only provide accommodation for its guests, it is also connected to both Penacone's reality and dreamscape. Guests from all over the cosmos come here to immerse themselves in a marvelous, dreamy journey. Mm-hmm. Uh... Aren't the, uh, aren't dreams fake? <laughs> um, when I get tired out from all that dreaming? The hotel's dream pool provides a comfortable dream experience, so don't you worry about that. Mm-hmm. Aren't dreams fake? A good question. Maybe not all dreams are false. Well, at least the ones in Penacony aren't. Or perhaps should I say they are, uh, another reality? Hmm. Hmm. So it's like this is an alternate universe? Or like there are alternate universes that you go to? How is it working here? Uh, uh, are you asking me? Uh, hmm. Well, it's not too bad. Many guests come and go, and I get to hear all about their adventures. Are you being paid well enough, Misha? How's, how's the pay working here? How many hours do you work a week? You'll know what I mean when you enter a dream. Penacone will not disappoint. All right, well, so Penacone is... Uh, yes, this hotel is Penacone in real life. And the Penacone in the dream is a place where miracles are born. A land of lavish joy. A grand banquet where the curtains never fall. Um, uh... It's hard to describe its magnificence in words. In any case, you will surely be odd. Hmm. Okay. I hear the family held a grand event, though. Ah, you 
You are well informed indeed. It is an opportunity provided by the family, and a tradition on the planet of festivities. Everyone gathers in the hall, reveling in merriment, pursuing opportunities, staking all they have on one desperate gamble. And finally, their dreams become reality! Hmm. Nice. That sounds fun. I have nothing else, though. May you have a pleasant stay in Penacony. Thank you, Misha. On each other's heads, this statue would still be taller than us. <laughs> Why is it detecting life forms? It's so pretty. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? <laughs> We've just arrived and there's already drama. Oh god. Wait, this kid has a <laughs> have a mustache. <laughs> Bruh, it's nah. Where'd you get that mustache from, huh? All these goods are not permitted on the premises. Oh, there's a chest here. I didn't see that. Child is evil now. <laughs> no. The evil mustache returns. Why does it sound like you need to be high just to go to the dream, Penacony? Yeah, it sounds like you're just getting high, basically. It's a, it's lucid dreaming, basically. Yeah, what drugs feel like. I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. Really? But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. Oh. These are the only four names on the reservation list. What? So I'm not included? What? Uh, yes, and I'm Mr. Don Hung reporting for duty. <laughs> I'm Don Hung. Hung. <laughs> um, so I was, was I not invited? I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. But when we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... I feel like, yeah, I definitely feel like it's gonna be a little more complicated than that. Show Architect's Lance? Wait, what? Architect's Lance? What is that? Trailblazer Profile. Wait, what's the Architect's Lance? I don't know what that is. Oh, the Preservation Weapon. Oh. Hmm. I just pull out a weapon on them and be like, let me in, or else. Um, what is the architect's lance even gonna do for us? Uh, I, I mean, I guess. I show my profile. Whatever. No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just. Well, it's just that right now we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Pentagoni's most important moment of every era. Ooh. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Look at him. I like his eyes. His eyes colors stand out so much. I like it. Well, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. We are sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble Aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Aventurine. A non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. The watchmaker? Who? Also, his eyes? <laughs> I can't help but look at his eyes. He needs brown contacts? 
<laughs> you do be needing brown content. He's literally like the, the blue eyed people meme. Blue eyed people staring at you. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Oh. Leave it to me. Okay. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have oh. an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us. Oh, he's an IPC member. All right, never mind. Everything I was thinking about him completely changed. IPC scum. I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? Okay, I've here we go. I've been here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? Here we go. It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Oh, I could kill people. I don't know. Now, this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penacone before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. Alright, I'm already getting bad vibes from this guy. <clears throat> Just like almost every IPC member, I'm already getting bad vibes. Here we go. But what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends, especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. Mm. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching? There you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. Oh, thanks. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just a moment. Oh, hey! The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most Sunday. man in Pentecost. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. Wait, their designs are interesting as hell. Wow, wait, look at that. Their, their designs are cool. I like the halos around their head. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentecost. How interesting. Hmm. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Okay. Wait, what? You're... Oh, wait, is she a pop star? Oh, wait, is March about to have a fangirl moment? Oh, boy. <laughs> also, wait, give me a sec. I feel like my game... Let me see something. I feel like my game... Seems so blurry. I don't know why. Give me a sec. Um. But. I don't know why my game seems blurry on screen. Give me a sec. Adventuring and Sunday. They look. They look really nice. I do like the designs of them. I was, I didn't really, um, I wasn't really interested in their designs during the, what was it? I think it was the 
six live stream. But looking at them in game, they actually look really good. Nice. They look really, really good. Wait, let me see. Hold on. I do this. Does this? Oh, this doesn't change anything. All right, whatever. Screw it. Yeah, she's about to have a fangirl moment. Sorry. The singer, Epsilon Superstar. If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? Yep, here she goes. I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. <laughs> oh, it really is, Robin. To run into her in person here. But she has a photo card of her. <laughs> it is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penaconi like him? Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penaconi is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penaconi. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. Hmm. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. I see. Alas. I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Yeah, screw that guy, Adventurine. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Ooh. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. We got better rooms Mr. too? Mr. Adventurine Ooh. has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we as the actual administrators, mm -hmm. relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. Mm -hmm. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Aww. Oh, it's just one surprise after another. But since that Mr... Which day was he? <laughs> Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally? Mm-hmm. Everybody has such... I like how they keep introducing people with names, like, of, like, time. We have March 7th and Sunday. Very interesting. Hmm. Uh, I'm already, uh... Let me see. I'm already a little winded. I hope we don't run into any more trouble. Are all the family names so strange? Uh, So too, it's most likely some rule of Penaconi's or the family's. I guess so. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. Who's next? 1856. I wonder. Is March 7th a Sunday? Team to guests of the Astral Let me see. Express. Your check-in procedure is complete. No, it's a Thursday. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key, Ooh. as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penaconi's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. Nice. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream. Save your favorite happy bits and create a dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Okay. Regarding the method of usage, the dreamscape pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penaconi. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. Let's move, let's move. Dreamscape pass. Once the check-in at the front desk is completed, the program will automatically appear on the guest's communication device. No one knows whether this is whether, whether this is an infringement of personal privacy, and no one has ever asked. Luckily, it's safe enough and interesting enough. <laughs> T 
2 million and 300,000 five star reviews. The family guarantees that there are no fake reviews. Wow. Best app in the universe. You received the Dreamscape pass from the hotel reception. Nice. Open it and take a look. Oh, okay. Wait, I can't. Oh, I have to press Alt. My bad. The Dreamscape Pass is an application automatically installed on your phones. Click here to open it. Invitation. Dear Dream Chaser, welcome to Pentacone. From the moment you set foot in the Riviera, a splendid and dreamlike journey had already lifted its curtains. It is not easy to put down the hustle and bustle of real life, and extraordinary courage is also needed to make the choice to fully, to full-heartedly embrace the dream. While we have the confidence to promise that, Thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and, and melodious tunes await you ahead. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, this is actual terms and conditions. <laughs> Wait. Actual terms and conditions here. Before you officially enter the dreams using the dream pool, please make sure you have already read the dream advisory. Maintain a calm mind. Intense emotional fluctuations may cause unexpected sensations when entering the dream, such as the, the sensation of falling, weightlessness, weightlessness, or pain. Please enter the dream lying on your back. Please do not attempt to enter the dream while facing down, kneeling, or other positions. This will minimize the risk of dr drowning. Uh, please do not ingest hypnotics beforehand. The dreaming fluid in the dream pool is already a fast-acting sed sedative and does not need external pharmaceutical assistance. If you cannot enter the dream despite having soaked in the liquid for a long time, please contact the hotel staff. Please do not enter the dream naked. <laughs> Your initial appearance in the dreamscape is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you have ensured that you are appropriately dressed. <laughs> It said, wear your damn clothes, guys. Please do not assume... Okay, hold on. Please do not assume the identity of another individual. Uh, the family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. And on behalf of the Oak uh, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. During this present period, the Riviera Hotel in the Golden Hour Dreamscape is undergoing renovations. If you opt to enter the Golden Hour, you will still wake up in the hotel in Dreamscape. However, you will be unable to leave the room and cannot use the hotel's regular services. We have designated a temporary process to enter the dream for guests so that you may successfully land in the Golden Hour. We apologize for any inconvenience this has caused to your journey in the Dreamscape. Dang. Unlucky. New handbook page unlocked the Riviera. A reverie, 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 reverie. More handbook pages will be unlocked as you process, progress through the Trailblaze mission. Record everything you encounter on these pages. Another thrilling Trailblazing expedition is about to begin. The start of this, of just to, the start to this adventure does not take place upon white sheets of snow, nor the imperious heights of the Zancho. Aside from the riddling seeking, the riddle seeking men and women all seem to be well. Then record your current feelings about or your opinion about the story. Hmm. Speaking of, it appears no one has asked you to a certain question. What kind of trip do you enjoy? Hmm. Hmm. This is your LA this is LA at home. Hmm. Straight towards local tourist destinations, slumber the day away within the room, or follow the passing currents of other pedestrians. Hmm. I personally enjoy... How about tourist destinations? I'm, a, I'm gonna be a tourist. In each thrilling journey, you yeah. In each thrilling journey, you always sp speed towards the local site with the greatest ren renown. Uh, what a commendable go-getter you are! Traveling with you must be an experience full of adventures and excitement. Though, come to think of it, your role might then clash with March seventh. Maybe you should reconsider your personal purpose and make yourself a man that offers novelty as their worth. Damn! Damn! What the? 
Huh? Okay. What? You're coming after me for? You could decorate the pages of your handbook with collected with collected stickers. Aww. During your exploration of Penacony, you will come across various stickers for collection. Use these stickers to decorate your Dreamscape Pass handbook pages. No, I don't want to use adventuring. Get this man out of here. Get this man out of here. Screw you. Let me use Robin. This is cool. Oh, I did it not save? Oops. I think I didn't save. Oh, no, it did. Never mind, we're good. Cool. You had to for Jage? Oh, you do? Okay, I see. I see that. You know what? You get the smallest one. But y'all like Topaz? I think Topaz is still kind of a weird person. I think I still think Topaz is um not the greatest of people. I mean, she shows she wants to change, but you know, Topaz is still iffy for the most part. I mean, that's not to say that they don't look good. You know, Topaz and Adventuring, they do look good. They do look good. But the characters themselves, a little, a little rocky for now. But we'll see. We've we've only we literally just met Adventuring, so we'll give him some time. Okay. What's in my mail? Oh my God! So much stuff. Thanks. You can use a shortcut button in your Dreamscape Pass. To open your Dreamscape Pass. <clears throat> While in other worlds, you will need to use a Dreamscape Pass item in your inventory to open it. You can get stickers by exploring the world, completing missions, and participating in happenings in the world. Use your, stickers collect use your sticker collection to decorate your scrapbook and boost its completion progress. Once you have collected the required number of stickers, you may claim progress rewards on the collection page. I redeemed the codes? Yeah, I did. Transformed the dreamscape into a majestic metropolis. What exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait. Fancy a dreamscape sightseeing shopping tour? Cool. Oh, wait, it's a chest here. Oh, who's that? Wait, someone had a... Someone had, like, the Dr. Ratio, like, mask on them. Y'all saw that? Our rooms are down this way. This is a long hallway. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Wells. He's actually not wrong about that, but it's cool. I gave it points for being cool. Very pretty to look at. He's a tired dad during vacation vibes. True. Quit giving me the stink eye. Dr. Blues. Come face to face with the blue bird. But it does not look like it's going to speak anytime soon. Uh, who are you? Obviously, I'm an obviously I'm an origami bird. You can call me Doctor Blues. Uh, what's an origami bird? An origami bird is a bird made of folded paper. Haven't you watched Clocky? No. I have no time to explain the settings. You can ask those birds on the on the great tree. The origami birds are gathering spot. When you have helped them find the required number of origami birds, I'll give you rewards. This is written under the storyline section. Okay. The bird, the birdie flaps its wings at you, supposedly trying to urge you to go. So I gotta find these uh, origami birds? Oh. 
So many chests here. Hotel Kaja being the size of a city is absolutely flabbergasted. Flabbergasting? Yeah. It is huge. How do they even build all of this? Actually, no. That's a dumb question because we're in the future. Best not to take They're literally able to, like, travel across worlds at light speed. Or you can go over there. Not yet, though. Each part of the map has so much more chests than other regions. Hmm. You pity the poor guys being at the highest floor imaginable of this hotel. You just have to wait like a five or ten minutes to get to the top. Ooh, the jazz. I've been excited for the to hear the jazz. Because they did say it was gonna have those kind of vibes to it. Each part of the map has so much more chests than the other regions. In some maps they have like 32? 32 chests? Oh, that's crazy. We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Well, how about a drink first? Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Hmm. Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Penicone to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. Yeah. You recall correctly, but. There was more to this invite. What about it? Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penicone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Mm. <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. Wait, did it play for certain people then? But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the express made its warp jump. Also, the express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Hmm. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers, or Inquisition Spirits, could have done this themselves. Mm. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Lawfu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this Watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. Alright, so there's something more to everyone that's been invited here. I, we're all, we've all been invited here on a mission, more like, instead of just as like a party thing. Hello, Luna Chu. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone. Yeah. And it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. Oh, wait. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? Are he, is he saying that... Is he saying that there's fake administrators that's taken over? Mm. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. 
Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Mm. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting <laughs> with each passing second. He said, yes, yes, I don't have to sit here and do absolutely nothing. Yes. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. Ah, I see. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. <laughs> oh, poor Walt. <laughs> um, I too just found out about the invite thingy. Uh, <laughs> That's because you were zonked out the whole ride. No one had the chance to tell you. True. That was not my fault though. I didn't mean to do that. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penicone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful mm. vacation. Penicone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. True. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. Yeah! It's time to head back to my room. I was an IPC member. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. IPC guards here. <laughs> Cheese! Cheese! <laughs> Just checked in to Penicone Hotel. <laughs> so there is a different, so there is a hidden reason as to why we were invited here. And it probably wasn't from the Penicone family itself. It could have been sent by um, previous trailblazers. Hmm. Interesting. Us people from planet Skrullum never brag. Oh, hey, look! This guy. They also have a robot head on them, too. Huh. I wonder if they're like Dr. Ratio, where they just don't want to see dumb people. <laughs> oh, yeah, there they are. I think they're just robots, actually. Us people from planet Skrullum yeah. never brag. Yeah, they're just robots. Huh. Interesting. Uh, one peach soul glad? Shaken? The decor in here is a little, uh, <laughs> loud for my taste. <laughs> so this is how Astral High Society does things, huh? He wants to keep himself humble. Uh, about the Watchmaker. They say he's a historically important figure in Penacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. Hmm, I see. So about the family then, robots can dream too? I mean, I guess so, if they got a conscious. Anything's possible in the future, I guess. The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars. A trait that is intimately tied to Panacone's stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so... 
I don't think we need to worry about that for now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so what about the dream journey then? The dream Pentacone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Pentacone's history and civilization. Nerd! Sorry. Pentacone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the Paperfold Academy. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. Mm, true. That's enough to chat. Uh, past the guest room's dream pool is the real Pentacone. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Put some respect on people. My bad. Hi, Himiko. I want to turn on the lights real quick. It's going to get dark soon. Ah, the vibes. Wait, what if I change my color? I got... I'm gonna make it feel like I'm in Pentacone right now. A good color for this. You like the pink one? This one? Best of fun? This one. That one. Okay, that one's so bright. I'm gonna do this one. Screw it. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room, or do you have something on your mind? Uh, well, about the watchmaker. One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the watchmaker. Pentacone's household name and figure. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the watchmaker's origin and past, and there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. Oh, so he's not even real? He's just a construct? Hmm. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the watchmaker. His legacy... It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. Could be. Could be true. About the IPC representative. Uh, an IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver-tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps. While keeping our guards up. Yeah, that's only if they, they want to back off. So about the dream journey. The dream Pentacone is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. I've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. Its wild winds, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. Aww. Okay. That's enough to chat. Uh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Good night, Himiko. Where's March 7th? Has she returned to her room already? She's right here, bro. Order Star Princess. Lonely Pianist Max. What's over here? Chest. Another chest over there, I see. What if the dream world is Tay Vat? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be a cool way to introduce. Like the crossing lines in this world. Ooh, a book. Giovanna's work diary? Something strange happened today. Early in the morning, an alarm came about, came through about an abnormality in, in a dream device installed in one of the rooms. The hotel immediately sent people to investigate and, and after no answer, was gained for quite some, t some time. Huh. Script person opened the door, only to find the room empty with just a wide open dream device operating by itself. 
and launched an emergency search throughout the hotel, even asking people to confirm the status of the missing guest in the dreamscape. Fortunately, nothing was wrong with this, with this guest inside the dreamscape, so at least for now, his body seemed undamaged, and his mind remains within Penacone. To protect the guest's mental well-being, we will not inform them for now. To address this, the hotel has dispatched a team to conduct close-up close follow-up observations on the guest. We hope that his body can be found soon. Damn, bro got kidnapped. He doesn't even know because he's stuck inside the dream. I didn't even know that's possible. There have been some rumors around the hotel these days. I first caught wind in the tea room. A maid, she could, a maid said she could hear a rustling, scratchy voice when passing by that room in the middle of the night. Like a rat nibbling on wallpaper? But how could Penacone have rats? Even in the kitchen hands, even the kitchen hands started to talk about this later. Apparently another young waiter sneaked into that room again and it really was empty inside. But after that, the sound kept appearing and it got louder and louder. That's a little creepy. Well, so hello, Amari. Hmm. Finally, I heard it myself. Uh, the sound they'd been talking about. The three hours I spent waiting outside that door wasn't in vain, after all. I slipped in before the sound disappeared. Everyone has been getting antsy recently because of that rumor about the guest who got eaten by the dream device and turned into a wandering specter. As a head nurse, it is my duty to clarify this ridiculous delusion. It was a scratchy sound. It rustled like a rat nibbling at the wallpaper, or like an angry ghost struggling. I looked back to see the guest room was still- the guest room door was still open. The sound came from be behind the wardrobe over in the count over in the corner of the room. So I took a few steps over and the sound got louder. I paused for a second, then I tried to call for him. Mr. Seeley. Then I heard a loud rasping laugh. That sound, it was strange. More like an off-tune weak scream or a painful whimper instead of laughter. I felt my vision going dark and my body freezing. But the sound drifted after a while. Uh... So I bravely took another few steps forward and called out again. However, that sound suddenly stopped. At the time, my curiosity got the better of me, and I leaned over the I leaned over the wardrobe to peer behind it into the gap behind it, between it and the wall. I saw a large pair of bloodshot eyes and a set of wriggling white teeth that was both terrifying and sinister. And then I heard a weak, breathy roar saying, "Save me!" Huh. This morning, the hotel issued a revised guest guideline and dreaming regulations. What happened to Mr. Seeley gave us all a wake-up call to recognize the flaws and oversights in our original workflow. For this purpose, we have made the following improvements. Guests with any history of sleepwalking will have additional limb support measures taken while entering the dream to prevent accidents from occurring during sleep. The layout of the hotel rooms has been optimized to prevent smaller guests, such as the Pepe... The Pepe she? <laughs> Pepe? Uh, the Pepeshi from getting stuck between any furniture again. Um, and as for poor Mr. Seely, the mental trauma he suffered seems to exceed any weakness caused by dehydration and hunger. The hotel pledges to provide him with the best recuperating environment and the most meticulous care. We sincerely hope we, he will make a speedy recovery. So what the fuck happened? Was he literally- was he sleepwalking? That's kind of weird. Huh. You just finished the 2.0 story already? What? Oh, Marge is in there. Hi, huh. Marge. Uh, where are you thinking of going? Uh, the moment of dusk, obviously. Uh, How can you not visit the shopping paradise when you're at the resort of all resorts? I'm all ready to fill my bags to the brim. Hmm. Wait, if you buy stuff in the dream world, does it come back with you? Hmm. After I'm doing my shopping, I'll get all dolled up in an evening gown to attend Miss Robin's show at Penacone Grand Theater! Hmm. So about Robin. You know, it's weird. 
Welt noticed it too, about how Miss Robin's voice sounded somewhat weary. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it was different than usual. That's true. Could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. <laughs> and about the event. Here I was thinking of some good old relaxation. But nope. <laughs> this event is a wild ride. The various factions deciphering the riddle. A power struggle of past legacies. It feels like we're in a live-action detective saga. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds, tragic losses, worlds torn apart, espionage situations, rivers running red with blood. Oh my god. Like what? This is simply too thrilling. What? Um. Okay, uh... You sound very. You sound a lot more excited about this than Welt and Himiko do. Interesting. Uh, she's a Romeo and Juliet fan. Do not let March dream. <laughs> Why does she call him Welt? That's true. He ha She has been calling him Welt instead of Mr. Yang. That's weird. Hmm. I wonder why. Well, um, I too want to see a river of blood. These two. These two are a trip. That sounds kind of scary, though. <laughs> Just kidding. How could that be possible? Nah. All right. Uh, don't worry. Welt and Himeko will have our backs if things go wrong. Let's just make the most of it all while we're here. All right. Bit odd. Odd. Why is my room door oh. open? Oh my god, Adventuring's in here. Why is he here? Hmm? He's. What you doing here, dude? Why'd you cut? Why'd you butt? Fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. What do you have? Room key access to my shit, bruh? Uh, we meet again, friend. Yeah. I re I remember. I have to keep. I have to keep uh this friendly. We meet again. <laughs> That's right, pal. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. Mm, true. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. My fault. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well. My fault. Friend. My fault, dog. Uh, so you were the one who transferred it to me. Of course. What? You thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? Mm. <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? Alright, buddy. Let's relax. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Hmm. So, uh... Alright, fine. I'll entertain him, because I, I feel like he's gonna... I feel like if I don't give in to his demands, he's just gonna kick me out of his shit. Whatever. Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. Yeah. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards. 
as well as the preservation's protection. Hmm. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. <laughs> you possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? What do you mean by that? Because the only power I have inside of me is that I got a fucking ticking time bomb. The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Yeah, you mean a Stellaron? You mean the one thing that literally is cancer? <laughs> Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? Hmm. Hmm. Um, how did you know? <laughs> I know now. Fuck! You don't I shouldn't have, have said it. Now. Damn it! <sighs> I should have said for I didn't know what he was talking about. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Damn it! Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. I don't like you. I are, I'm, I'm already very suspicious of this dude. I can't make the decision on my own, though. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Chip is tossed into the air and in the blink of an eye it disappears. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. Ah, uh, damn it. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine because... Uh -oh. Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer, one you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. What? And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? Oh! What are you doing in my room? Wait, what? Wait, what? Sure. Wait, 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 I'm confused. Wait, what? What? Your room? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what's going on? Okay, hi, Archeron first, but... <laughs> Alright, the hotel got someone to answer for this. Well played, friend. Our room now. You haven't been in Penacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. I... 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 I that, that, that was not... That, I, I am completely innocent in this situation. I didn't do anything. All everybody here is just coming into my life, making me trouble for no reason. That's not my. That's not me. That's not me. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like keeping your door closed. Oh shit. <laughs> I'll make my now. exit now. Have a pleasant stay. Bro is threatening me now. Oh, great. Here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for saving me, Archeron. <sighs> why haven't you left? Uh, I, why? Uh, this, this is, what? This is my room. This is my room. <laughs> no, this is my room. <laughs> I was just teasing. Okay. Please forgive me. All right. This all right. is indeed your room. All right, I get I it. I saw that man <laughs> snooping about while I was in the hallway. 
You got it. It didn't seem like he was searching for his own room, so it made me wary. You got it then. Mm-hmm. Alright, so she saved us. Thank you. I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. Also the text is red. The situation got a bit tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. Yeah, the text is red, so there's something happening. Anyway, as long as you're alright. I should return to my room too. Something about that red text is wrong. But before I go, can I ask you a question? Oh, here we go. Oh, God. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know, have we met somewhere before? Again? Oh, that's right. We don't even remember it afterwards. Hmm. Deja vu. <laughs> Deja vu. Is that so? I haven't been able to shake off this familiar feeling since just now. Maybe this is what they call deja vu. <laughs> or it could purely be serendipity. Mm. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. Wop. I... Do you still remember me? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. Oh. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Damn, can't be like me. Galaxy Ranger Could Acheron. it be me? This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death. And they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. Mm. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Can I call you mother instead, Miss Acheron? Uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? <sighs> what? Huh? Wait, why, why are you back? Someone else? <sighs> I thought we say I thought you said you weren't gonna see us again. <laughs> Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? <laughs> All these hallways really look the same to me. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. You so Ac you show Acker on the way. She thanks you again and again. Seems like it's over. <sighs> Time to work the dream pool according to the Dreamscape Pass's instructions. A token of the International Peace Corporation. Remember the envo the envoy played a little trick with it. Acheron. Destiny is like a thread and must be snapped when necessary. You obtain a sticker. Sticker time. Acheron. Cool. She goes in the middle. <laughs> She's gonna be huge. I would just keep her normal size. Nice. Based? Make her super huge. There we go. <clears throat> There's some actual weird shit going on. I'm still trying to decipher what the red text is going to mean and why it's so important. Something to do with choices, definitely. Also, fuck that guy. Can I just say fuck that guy? The dude was de what the dude was about to mess us up. That dude was def that dude is definitely up to some shady shit, man. 
Please are fitted into the whole room as a standard. Their flames can be switched to either absorb or release heat. Heating or cooling the room. That's cool. Fucking adventurine, man. Welcome what the hell? To Penacone, honored guest. What is? Lust Princip. Cool. What is? What is the most precious moment in life? Listening to music while enjoying Soul Glide, of course. This device right here lets you enjoy both. Nice. The hound's glassy eye emits a sanguine glow, creating an eerie sense. Creating an eerie sensation. As you attempt to touch the statue, it suddenly vanishes into the air. Welcome to Penacone, honored guest. Hmm. The sanguine sight continues to unsettle you. The helm must still be lurking somewhere in Penacone. If you want to get rid of its gaze, you must need to locate its whereabouts first. Alright, well. I'm definitely gonna miss it a couple times. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna miss walk. I'm just I'm definitely gonna walk by it a couple times because I am not good with noticing details. And environments. So. <clears throat> you approach the dream pool and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room. Fragrance permeating the air. Together, these two elements envelop you in their embrace. The scent is sweet, profound, and luxurious. Rem reminiscent of ripened fruits and a distant ocean painted by the hues of a setting sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. You curl your body, lying down in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. The wild wind rustles through the barren plains, while nightingales, seagulls, swans, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Just focus me, 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 me. on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. Uh. Are we sure this is a dream? This is getting pretty freaky. We're falling. Uh-oh. What just happened? Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? <laughs> handsome bust. <laughs> You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. Mm. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Do you? Clamorous people do not make friends. <laughs> Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. Mm. <laughs> It seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts mm. and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Oh, so Sunday got his stuff? Mm. Sunday was sus of him as well. Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. Oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Why so serious? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Damn. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. 
how would a gambler wrest Panacone back from the IPC otherwise? Mm. <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking mm. of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Oh god. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the Watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? And what is your plan, dude? <laughs> Stop being mysterious. Well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. Of course. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? His mouth isn't moving, what? <laughs> then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Mm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Damn, that's crazy. I did not mean to offend. Damn. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer, and as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. What? Huh? Oh. <laughs> he disappeared. He's like, nah, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. <laughs> you take it too long, dog, I'm out. <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well. Seems like I'm on my own again. He's like, I got no part in this, dog. You take it too long. Ratio so W. This is the dreamscape. The atmosphere here creeps me out. And what was that weird noise just now? Yeah, it seemed like we were having a bad trip. We were definitely uh not having a good time entering into the dream. A uh, note. Watchmaker's advice. The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it, and then you shall be granted an audience. Find the impossible. This way. Can you see me? Over here. Misha. Please, come this way. Hi, I Misha. thought I heard a familiar voice. Is it coming from the painting? He's in this painting. Ooh. Whoa. That's cool. You're here. Wonderful. Oh. Hi, Misha. Oh, I, I thought you wouldn't notice me. What you doing here, Misha? Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. Hmm, this... Well, well, we meet again, I guess. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I don't know if it looks rundown. It looks, it looks very pretty, in fact. I like this. Some vibes. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. So, what happened to the reverie? Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. What's Golden Hour? You've perhaps 
read about it in your dreamscape pass, but I could explain it one more time. Golden Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penicone, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Mm. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Mm, okay. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So don't worry. Okay. So I just picked up a note. Note? Did you find it in the room? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? No. It was my uh, mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. No, you're good, Misha. Don't worry. You're doing your job just fine. Uh, <laughs> how do I get to Golden Hour? You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. I wish you an unforgettable dream. That door over there? Okay. Also, you guys see that red thing over there, right? There's something red over there. I don't know what that is. You guys see that over here, right? I'm not crazy, right? I have no idea what that is, because I don't see it anywhere else. Weird. Behind hmm. this door is the real Venaconi. I'm looking forward to it. Hmm. Time trial from Genshin Trust. Here we go. Flashbang. Oh, wait, look at the pom pom. Hey, the sleeping pom pom. Oh, we're falling. Oh, we're falling. Uh oh. We're falling. Huh? Huh? Wait, do they see us falling? <laughs> Help. Uh-oh. And we just died. <laughs> we actually just died. Wait! He did the Goku! <laughs> the Dragon Ball meme! <laughs> it's in the Yamcha pose! <laughs> Are you alright? He did the fucking Yamcha pose! <laughs> Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, this game... This game really is just a meme. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, are we in heaven? <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. You what the... the dreamscape. That was funny. I will say that was funny. <laughs> Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Robin gives a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles, and you see the ripple shimmering in the depths of her lake green eyes, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. What the? Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of the time space. <clears throat> you resonate with and <clears throat> you resonate and become attuned with the serum, the serene fusion of frequencies. Uh, your heart drums leading this symphony. Don't worry, just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Now exhale. <sighs> They chant, instincts compels, and the stagnant fluid in your chest begins to flow again. A gentle warmth emanates from within, set, saturating every inch of your being. Your melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. A seven-colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes your eyes. Its movement tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel a vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. Nice. What, what did you just do to me? You just brainwashed me? <laughs> I'm 
definitely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. Okay. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. All right. That's a good analogy. <laughs> Does this mean I can levitate in the air? Well, theoretically you can. But it would be very difficult to pull off. After all... We don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria yet. I can do it. I can do that. Just watch. I'm him. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Mm. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast! Alright, so... For those two... Take your guesses now. Who's gonna be the four-star? Which one do you guys think is gonna be the four-star of those two? Because I know not... Only one of them can be a five star. Sunday, the girl, both five star? Hmm. None cope. Both five star? I hope that they're both five star, honestly. Actually, do I wish they were both five star? Because if, I, if they're both five star, then that means I have a less chance of getting both of them. Because they both are cool. They're both kind of cool. Hmm, I wonder. They could be both five star. They do. They do feel like both five star material. Five star aesthetics. All right, March seventh. Hehe. <laughs> awesome. We can send messages even in the dream. You there yet? I'm there now. Yay! I just got in touch with Himiko and Mr. Yang. They all went to different dreamscapes. I'm at the moment of dusk. I'm planning to check out the auction. It's going to be a pain to meet up again. So why don't we split up for now? Okay. You got golden hour? I heard the dreamscape sales stores is they're super famous. Can you please check it out for me? Pretty please? If it's really fun, then I'll head over there next. Okay. The dreamscape sales store. Oh. Should I visit it? This place is bustling. There are so many people living in the dreamscape. Wow. Mm. Oh, cool. Hello, Huffle J. Thank you for the six months. Welcome back. Welcome back, Huffle J. What's this? Look. A sticker. Doctor Ratio. Mr. Ratio. Cool. Wait, what if I put these two next to each other? Because they're both in the same room. There we go. <laughs> wait, he's looking. Wait, you <laughs> wait, that was completely unintentional. <laughs> you can see he's looking down at him with... <laughs> Okay, that was completely unintentional, but I'm gonna keep it that way. That's kind of funny. That was 100% unintentional. I'm giving it like that. There's a new page here. Big Squanderer. What stands before you is the Golden Hour, Pentacone pulse Pentacone's pulsating heart. Tell me, what are your first impressions of this city? Um, it stinks of capital. <laughs> um, love at first sight for me. I like it. It's love at first sight between you and the golden hour. Who wouldn't fall in love with a place like that? Most people feel as you do, which is how Pentacone managed to draw so many dream chasers. Get all the troubles that have ever ailed you and enjoy the charms of this city full of, festi uh, of festivities to its full. 
Though, do remember to keep some wits about you, lest the city swallows you all. Let's see. So glad. You don't, sit, you don't feel anything with the first sip, but five minutes later, you'd have down three bottles. Shit really is like drugs, huh? <laughs> so glad. Note sticker. About happiness. This street is populated by people, though none of them young... No, though none of them young, from all walks of life, wasting the excess of happiness they have in the realm of reality. Hmm. Well, it's always gotta be big. Can I do- oh, I can't do Control z Imagine if you could do Control z Oh, you can put it all up in this corner. Huh? There you go. There you go. Oh, lucid cats. Beer and Star Rail confirmed. Yeah, it might just be beer. Buh. Look how many achievements I have. Sorry, I don't mean to flex. All right, we're here. Very cool. Wait, are those... Are they like instruments in the form of... Cars? <laughs> what? Okay. This is a nice limo. Looks like a Batmobile. It's. This is an automatic Soul Glad dispenser machine, common in Pentaconi, this thing. As you approach the dispenser on the machine, suddenly falls, spraying Soul Glad all over you? What? No! An infuriating prank, or it could simply be an accident. Who knows? You look around, but you can't find anyone to vent to. Dang. You can vent to me. Even amidst the star, Star of Pentecody, the Steinway Falcon is the epitome of showcasing your class. Oh, so this is classy. This is the classy car. This shit's a... Actually high, high, uh, high class. Try blocking the traffic? What if I just... Damn! Oh my god! Damn, it just hit me straight up! Wait. It just straight up hit me! My fault. What if I... <laughs> you could just straight up get hit by it. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. The B star. Wait, there's another one here. But is it real? Aww. The little Arctic bear cub watches you with its head tilted, flapping its semicircular ears. You're certain no one could ever resist a cute, fluffy critter. Not to mention that it's waving a, its cute little stumpy arms at you as if, as if it to ask for a little bear hug. How could you say no? Something is right. Nah, it'll be fine. Nah, give up. You're just making the same mistake anyone else would in face with a bear cub like this. Why not? We walk forward quietly. Good. It hasn't run off, but it is still watching with those innocent eyes. You begin to imagine the soft touch of that fur in the palm of your hand and wonder, is this the happiness that you've been pursuing all along? Just then, you seem to catch a glimpse of something out of the corner of your eye. Uh-oh. Uh... Something that has no business being here, its presence is so offensive, like marbles in a soda bottle, or lipstick in a shirt collar, that is impossible to ignore. Your movements stop. What, what am I seeing? <laughs> uh... What 
What am I seeing? I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be alright. Who cares about anyone else? Nothing is more important than happiness right here. Right, the, more, the, nothing is more important than happiness right here, right now. Even if the dregs of propagation... Even the dregs of cockroach? What? Even the dregs of propagation are about to lead a withering assault against Pentacony. You decide to want to... You decide you want to grab onto that soft fluff first. You sure that this is the great justice behind why you do all you do? Your hand spreads wide, fingers quivering slightly. Good. You're about to pet it. Are you sure you don't want to think about it some more? <laughs> so cute. Uh... No, I want to hug it. You win! You are bold and, no one, and none can resist you. Go ahead and do whatever you want. Your palm hugs onto the little cup tightly. It's a little heavier than expected, but it doesn't matter. It's soft fur tickles the palm of your hands while filling your heart up to the brim with warmth. Another beautiful life moment for you. Aww. Aww. It grunts happily and doesn't seem to be offended by your rude behavior. <laughs> You sigh with relief, the risk paid off, and you got what you wanted. But at what cost? You only just realized something isn't right. Have you recovered from the rashes of your blind impulse? Didn't you notice that this whole time, the sign above the creature says Arctic Bear Cub. Or doesn't say Arctic Bear Cub at all? Or what? Huh? What do you mean? What sign? Take a deep breath and don't get excited. At least they aren't angry right now. And you still have plenty of time to think about the mitigation strategies. Uh... What? Explain what you just did. <laughs> or leave as if nothing happened. Seeing as, they ch seeing as they have chosen to display themselves as an arctic bear cub, it's not technically wrong to use a corresponding method of petting. Therefore, you decide to... Maybe we should just scuttle. About life. What is life if one can't dream with reckless abandon? Want to see an animal performance? Aww. It falls asleep. Look at this. Er, uh, the animal enthusiast doesn't mind being treated like an animal. It's an animal enth. Oh, it's a person. That's a- It's just a dude cosplaying the bear! It's a fucking furry! Oh my god. Furries are canon in Star L. Ooh, what's this? Rumor has it that a man deliberately destroyed a fire hydrant light just to get his hand on a stronger soul glide. He didn't leave the dreamscape with his dignity intact. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I just like, uh... Will of let, preservation. Me let me see. Let's wait and see. Oh. Wait, tranquility and credits? Am I done with the story? No, I, I think I'm just getting started, actually. I only just got here in Pentacone. Ooh, there's another... Harry. Sticker. OT Mall. Hi, Mr. Herring. Billboard. Mr. Herring's rise the waves with your taste buds. Come on and try Mr. Herring's lemon tarts. Uh... Are you bothered by the herring in the picture? Fret not, we've stopped using it a long time ago. If you're interested in trying our products, you can visit the grocery store in your neighborhood. Sales rep. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, a walking advertisement. That's that's good to see. Good to see that uh, in the future, not only will you you will have you will have to deal with walking advertisements. No ad block allowed. Wait. Did that billboard just move? Oh god. You're following me. What's special about Soul Glad? Whoever answers correctly will get Soul Glad for free! 
Um, it can cure various diseases. I don't know about that. Refreshing taste. I can't go about my day without drinking it. Yes, I am addicted. Well said. You're clearly a loyal, a loyal fan of Soul Glad. Here's your Soul Glad. We've always treated our loyal customers well. Nice. We got a Soul Glad. Bro is still following me. Yeah. <laughs> I can hit the advertisement? Wait, what does that do, though? Oh, I missed. Oh! <laughs> That's so mean! That's so mean! Okay, I hate ads, but I don't hate ads that much. <laughs> Beep beep. <clears throat> Petrulalu's zappy gun is here. It's only fun when everyone has a gun. Hi, may I know which weapon is your favorite? Uh, baseball bat, lance, or my head? Um, my head. Got it. You gotta think. Oh, you mean your brilliant mind? It looks like you're going to need a cool Petrulalu's zappy gun. Head to our selected stores for more information now. Thanks. The most luxurious commodities throughout Dreamscape. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I haven't eaten. You haven't eaten? Come to you, Ulux's, Ulux's culinary chain. You'll be full and satisfied. Okay. These are, these literally are just walking ads. Got anything cheap? I wonder what these balloons are supposed to be though. Why are these why is this ice cream floating? Uh You toss a cone into your mouth in a slick move. Nice. Can I eat all of it? Even those houses made of cones are not spared by your ravenous appetite. What? Stop! Do you really have to eat me? Perhaps we could get along in peace. <laughs> A cone that wants to live. Oops. Um, I almost just ate this guy. Uh, what am I gonna eat then? Th this is for you. Please let me go. Blow this burger. My fault, bro. <laughs> I almost ate someone! According to the map, that's the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? What? Where? Oh, that one? Oh, damn. Hold on here, though. I really love the art direction here. This is so cool. It actually really does feel like a city. It does feel like Vegas, kind of. So glad is the most common dream in the dreamscape. You still have to pay for it, though. <laughs> According to the map, that's the dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? Let's go to the dreamscape sales store. I. Trailblazers from the Astral Experience. Welcome to Dreamscape. Wow. Uh, who's talking? It's me, the Dreamscape Sales Store. I also go by the name of Dr. Edward. <laughs> and I'm happy to be at your service. All right. Hi, Dr. Edward. Here's where you get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top-notch productions of Clark Studios to... Private donations. <laughs> we have it all. Private donations? What do you mean by that? I'm not mistaken. This is your first visit to Pinnacle, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Please be rest assured that Dr. Edward will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. <laughs> and that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this dream. Why do I feel like he sounds like Germa? 
it's a country trying to do a voice impression it is said to contain the memory of the fallen Ian Akefili. I can assure you that this dream bubble is perfect for you. Uh, hmm. Uh, how do you know what I want? It's the magic of psychoanalysis. <coughs> well, <laughs> let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Okay. Touch the dream bubble. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? To what? What I do? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Am I? How come Pom Pom's here? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. Hmm. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Wait. Give this place a thorough cleaning! <laughs> uh... Wait, why is there any sound now? Do I have to do the voiceover for Akavili myself? <laughs> My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akavili. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akavili. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with. I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Anyone, you say? Anyone? Well, it must be someone you're close to. Unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. March Donhong Pom pom. Oh, I could also two wells. Himiko wealth myself, myself in a different gender. Hmm. I'm giving the voice actors work. The stele, yeah. I wonder. You want to hear them all? I do too, but I don't know if it'll allow me to do it over and over again. Oh, you, you can redo this? Oh, okay. That's good then. How about... Don Hong's voice actor was, was so goofy in this part. Okay, how about we try Don Hong then? Because I do want to try March 7, but I'll try it after. I feel Because I feel like I already know how March is going to sound like. So let's try Don Hong. Splendid! it as we speak. The replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct? You rode snowmobiles into the Tychian Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. <laughs> because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Oops. Uh, you plead guilty to this charge? <laughs> Pom Pom is angry. <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> you sneaked into the high -E zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. What? You kept them in the restroom. Where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, what? causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. What? Do you plead guilty to this charge? Uh, yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> you barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pom pom pies. Bruh. Because you also took the last of the express special in the fridge i was left starving <laughs> you plead guilty to this charge 
Do you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. <laughs> Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. Dang, how much did I do? How much did they do? Of entire entries disappearing from the express databank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. Uh Oh my god. That's, uh Well, uh this troubling expedition of yours is indeed an elating one. Perhaps it is. But I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. <laughs> and that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? 46? Damn. <sighs> Sorry, I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. <laughs> no, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. <laughs> what? Wait, who? That's all for the content of this dream bubble. How was your experience? <laughs> Definitely would have never heard Don Hunk ever say that in his life, but that was cool. <laughs> it was aha. Oh, it was a story told of the simulating universe. I see. I see. Because I don't read a lot. I don't. Um, I stopped reading a lot of the uh, simulating universe stuff. I just kept skipping through it. Or maybe that's. Maybe I should read that. Um, what do all these have to do with Akiavili? <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. I'm itchy, sorry. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. How much does it cost, though? Uh, so the first dream bubble for free was just a sales pitch, huh? This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, we're going to buy it. How much is it, though? That's the thing. Well, how much is it? A hundred K? You're kidding, right? It's actually a hundred K? That's cheap, though? But that... It's, You bought it? Nameless memory bubble. I'm sorry, I truly am the worst nameless in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Oh! <laughs> As this is your first time using the dream bubble, Here's a sticker for you. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape pass and commemorate your unique trip to Penacone. Nice. Is it going to be a giant eyeball? I was hoping I would find some clues no. about the nameless up here. <laughs> bum bum. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. Yeah. She went that way. Get her! Huh? Uh oh. What's Criminals. going on? What's all the commotion about? Whoa. Uh -oh. This guy sounds like Jerma. That's what I was saying. He did sound like he sounded like a Jerma. Watch your step now. My bad. He sounded like Jerma trying to do an impression. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Who this? I uh what? S sorry for bothering you. Please. I need your help. Uh, what? Uh, what, what happened? Who are you? I, I'll do my best to protect a young lady. He said, Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Actually. Hey, at your service. She has an accomplice. Ha, good work. 
Now we can nab them both in one go. Uh oh. Repay. That was nice. loud. That is so loud. Oh, ow, 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 That was loud. Watch this awesome move. Wait, actually, I kind of want to play it. Hold on. I want to see what they do. You can't run. Dude, the game gets so loud during uh, gameplay. Lands at the ready. Oh, wait, the music, though. Hold on. Don't lose momentum. <laughs> oh, my sound disappeared again. That's great. The strength. Heaven search. Quick. My turn. Not a scratch. Try that again. I haven't been really know you didn't know that. I do. <laughs> I got him the first time he was around. Did I? I sense a storm. Heaven, sir. Rise. <laughs> he just blows up. Hello, Cappuccino Cat. Thank you for the two one. That's enough, boys. What is? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Scruff. Uh, sir, sir. Hello. What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Why does she look like Callan? She kind of looks like Callan from Honka Impact 3rd. It's just me. Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer. Sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. He does kind of look like an officer. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. <laughs> I'm sure she's the one. Bruh, you, so, you, just, you just profiled her? Nah. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair. And you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Well, she actually, they actually just profiled her. Wow. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. No problem. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Gallagher. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. You know, also, he kind of looks like Walt if he was older and had red eyes. I mean, well, Walt is pretty old, but like, you know what I mean? It's like a different, he's like an alternate version of Walt, kind of. You see it? Maybe it's just because he has blonde, maybe it's just because he has brown hair. Hmm. Uh... Who's the silver-haired guy? The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Mm. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Mm. Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? Bruh. <gasps> Why you put it like Thanks. that? <laughs> Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Alright, Gallagher. I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. No problem. Uh, 
Help does it Galactic Baseballer at your service. It's fucking dude. The Trailblazer man. <laughs> Hello Hugo the Buho. <laughs> You're funny. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Yep. Is this your first time here on Pentacony? Mm-hmm. Uh wait. What if she didn't know? What if she doesn't know and she's just playing with us? Uh are they really that famous? <laughs> you bet! The Interastral Peace Broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. Really? I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. Mm. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. Oh boy, <laughs> we have another guide. <laughs> I, well, I do happen to need a tour guide. Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Theater kid. It's not a bad it's idea not a to get to know about this place. Oh, oh God! Here comes an ad. Is this the same one? Yeah, it is. Watch your step now. Guide aware. <laughs> Here we go again. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Alfalfa coins? Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. <laughs> you can come back for them next time. Dang. I can't buy a car here and then go back to the real world and get it? Dang. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. You gotta buy DLC? <laughs> We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, in a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. True. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, mm. oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. Hmm, what do I want? Uh, I should warn you, I do have very expensive taste. Nah, I just want pizza. Firefly's budget twenty thousand. Cool. LJ. This is Pentacony's most iconic dish. Pick your pick. It's my treat. Hmm. I already got one of the the burgers. Dreamy cone three flavors. Don't make her broke. Buy everything. <laughs> I could. I mean, I could just pay her back, right? Oh, the pizza. A pizza is surprisingly cheap for quite it's the same price okay well maybe the maybe the burgers are just expensive the, the burgers and fries are just expensive because why is a whole pizza as expensive as potato fries and a burger and the ice cream being more expensive than all of them it's shake shack 
<laughs> okay, baby. Shake Shack prices. Um, let's get, let's do this. Sounds like a good meal. What if I spend it all though? I'm greedy. It's a dream anyways. Um, this is... Uh. Are you done ordering? You... You have great taste. I... I'll get the bill. <laughs> mm. uh. Now, let's go this way. Yeah, she definitely hates me for that. Kids meal. Oh, I still gotta get in line in a dream. Don't worry, I'll pay her back later. This is the I'll pay her back. Told you about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. I missed, bro. That thing just what? Did you see that? I think just swerved me. Yo. Oh my God. Holy trailblazer, you suck! Oh. Okay, nah, never mind. This thing is too good. That thing actually just weaved. Oh my god, it's another ice cream person. Props master. It looks cool. Way. Let me show you something interesting. Was that Clocky? Look, that's the statue of Clocky, Penicone's famous cartoon character. I think there's a bird inside of it. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. 10,000 is crazy. One Piece could never. <laughs> Uh, it's a little surrealist. Isn't having a clock as a character a bit ominous? Hmm, I mean, not really. Looks cute. I know, right? Isn't he adorable? By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Oh. Uh, is he famous? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penicone, the founder of the dreamscape. The man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claimed that he was exiled to Penicone as a prisoner. And some speculate mm. that he wasn't even a real person. Just a symbol. Yeah. The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. Hmm. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penicone in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penicone knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. A nameless, you say? Hmm. Oh, hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? True. Uh, I'm allergic to camera lenses. So goofy. Uh, <clears throat> I know how this goes. You're going to charge me a lot for just taking the pic, aren't you? Classic. Classic scam. Actual, that's an actual, that's an actual scam in Vegas, by the way. Hey, 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 hey. Help, help me. Yeah, there is someone, in, there is something inside of it. I think it's the bird. Huh? What's that? It looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help, help me. Pull me out, help me. The eyelashes are begging to be pulled out, which feels like, which feels a little too much like a dream.
Yank. It's the bird. Thank you. Aww. Bye bye. After letting out an adorable chirp, the bird flies away. Before it left, it seems that it offered some kind of reward. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. Perhaps you can meet with it again there. See just what exactly the nice thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? Wait, she can't see it? Was she not able to see it? What the hell? Uh, I pulled out his eyelashes. I could actually jump in this world. Color me surprised. Yeah, but we, I couldn't see it. Really? You jumped just now. It was really sudden, too. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. Okay. Oh, so we don't get the picture with her then? No. I didn't get the picture with her. Man, whatever then. The origami bird birds bring branches and precious stones to build the city. However, these mischievous entities often turn into feathers and hide in the various corners among the places they've made. If you see a th if you see through the birds' mimicry, then please go up and interact with them. The friendly birds will prepare a gift for adventurers who discover them. Some, page, some particularly playful birds won't directly admit their failure and require you to peel back their disguise little by little. Other, observe carefully and try many times to figure out the way to capture them. Okay. Checked off the list. What was this? Planet of Festivities? Oh, it's a, it's a Robin photo card. <laughs> it's an actual co photo card of her. Wait, yo! The collectible cards of the Planet of Festivities series are designed and released by Dreamstar Entertainment, trademark of the Alfalfa Publishing House. All rights reserved. Unauthorized reproduction will be prosecuted. When the baby bird broke free of its shell, her first trip immediately drew the attention of the stars. Fate had arranged the. A bright future ahead of her, and she was destined to be a galaxy illuminating superstar. On the stage made from myriad di diamonds, Robin belted out a song that praised the beauty, kindness, affection, and vitality of the world. Surrounded by vibrant lights, the audience was moved uh, to tears by her voice. All the flaws, ugliness, deception, and loneliness in life were forgotten. Sick! I actually got a photo card of her. See, now I could use that against March. I could use that against March. She doesn't have a photo card. It's... She doesn't have a photo card. Huh. <sighs> my see. dream is right before my eyes. That voice sounds familiar for some reason. What's going on here? Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Also, somebody asked if I was uh, Trailblaze or, yeah, Trailblaze level 70. Yeah, I am. I am. I maxed it out. How far am I in the quest? I don't know. I just got here in Penacony, so I feel like I'm not that far in. I'm not that far in yet, so I don't know. But it is. Get, it does give an eerie feeling because there are a lot of things are a bit strange. So. That's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are, the best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. Oh. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Okay. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. 
appearance of the binoculars, but all that meets your gaze is an abysmal dark abyssal darkness. Suddenly an eye opens in the abyss and begins to stare at you. Meet its gaze. If you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. And if you choose to meet the abyss's gaze, after some time, the, cl the eye closes shyly. Only darkness remains in the telescope. Huh. I just stared into the abyss. Oh, it's a trash can. This is a trash can. There are even trash cans in the dream? This discovery turns into overwhelming joy and, rush and it rushes to your head like a punch. When you return to your senses, you've been enveloped in a sugary mood with a lingering at sweet aftertaste. Deja vu. Oh shit. Oh, these ones are the, uh... Those ones are the ones that give back your... E points. That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. What is a sticker? A tourist. Oh, it's like a tourist guide. Largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacoon. Wow. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Wow. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, mm. in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. I see. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. What? That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacone's dreamscape. Oh, I see. Now, this is also the only place where one can hmm. fully experience the core values of syrupism. She abruptly freezes. In that fleeting moment, you notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brows, or perhaps somewhere behind you. Uh, what are you looking at? Firefly returns to her warm and gentle disposition. What the hell? <laughs> what just happened? you around also camera's out of focus there we go my bad she's staring at me oh yeah she kind of was staring at me she's mad i used her money <laughs> my fault my fault my bad make sure the camera's focused okay we're good Literally cocaine and coke back in the 1920s. Yeah. Oh my god, but the guy is puking. I was actually puking. Ew, he's puking rainbows. Why are they taking a picture of it? What? Ew. Oh, there's a feather here too. Hi. Chirp, chirp. Open the lid for a prize. It's me, chirp. I thought the sewers were filled with soul glad. Turns out it was just water. What a bummer. Let's go back to young Master Gold and ask for some fruit. Another photo card. Mr. ID. Look, golden syrup flows through the streets and alleys. The, street, the sweet tasting streams are, are the lifeblood of the dreamscape, and the foamy seas are the honey, honeyed brew of fortune. The time of time, uh, the tide of time cannot dull its taste. For a passionate ferryman rose his oars in the storied river of history. He has spent his life passionately maintaining this, sweet, this sweetness. Slumbering guests imbibe the dream in this bottle with relish. 
That is the elixir of happiness and the recipe to forget your troubles. Its master is more than happy to share it with you. Oh my god! Oh boy. Oh boy. An amusement facility that can be seen anywhere in Idine Park. It's a world of civil but charming. Countless guests are immersed in it and become completely oblivious to reality. You can use ID tokens to play various amusement facilities that, and have a small chance of winning valuable rewards. Oh, where did... Oh, she's over there. She's waiting for me. No! I can't do it yet! No. No. Man. My bad, sorry. Man, we can't gamble yet. Also, is the mic too loud? Hold on. Buh. 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 It's fine? Okay, that's good. What? Where'd I go? Oh. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacony. May I get some ID tokens for him? Oh, of here course. we go. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Here we go. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. Oh, boy. And how many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Panacone to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Okay. Uh, that's... Uh, let's live life to the fullest! Woo! Woo! Let's do it! Let me see. Which one should we try first? Oh, no. Which one I want to try out first? this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. The slots! All right, so there's pri a regular prize, a big prize, and a super big prize. I also find it very funny how you could literally just, like, <laughs> synthesize these. Hmm. Let's start small for now. We, we ain't got shit. Wow, you won something on your first attempt. Impressive. Nice. I got a big prize. Nice. Let's see what else there is. Not enough credits left. The same one. Is that? Oh, this lucky wheel. Hmm. You should try the big gotcha pawn for better rewards. Wait, where is that? Ooh, nice. Ooh, gallon of extermination. Nice. Where's the gotcha pun at? This is the one. It has me. Please. Er. Is it this? That's a golden capsule machine. Oh my god, more floating ice cream. I think it's probably this one. It is? Okay. Ooh. Oh, you can get a light cone from this. Oh, it's an Hildy light cone. It looks kind of cool, too. Hmm. 
And I think that's a... This looks like a... Avatar or something. Okay. It requires two. You keep playing. Kind of expensive. I'll go and get some okay. Whoa! Wait, that looks so cool. Oh, I got a super big prize. Yo! Wait, that looks cool as hell. Oh, I just got. Okay, even if you get a super big prize, you still have to get the gotcha. You still have to, like, hope you get something good from it. Okay. That big-ass thing just for that. Crazy. What's taking Firefly so long? Huh? She's heading towards the bar? What? Is she getting a soul glad? Pizza! Got some food. I got a pizza. This is a, this is a, it, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is a nasty looking ass pizza, but. Or it's not a pizza, but it's cake, but it still looks very, um. It, it definitely looks like it'll kick my stomach. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? What? Oh, it's just regular prize. Damn it. <laughs> the lemon tart. You can buy more gamma tokens from the vomiting guy? Where is he? Uh, where'd he go? Alright, this guy. Would have thought downing 40 bottles of Soul Glad back to back would feel like this. It feels absolutely amazing, he says, as he literally pukes rainbows. I have to note this feeling down. You over there, do you want to join the party? What party? What party do you think? Golden Hour is, is one non-stop party. All you need to bring is a fun-loving spirit. As for me, I'm the most legendary party-goer here, Dancy. You can tell by my peps... Pepeshi and entourage that I am the biggest party goer around. There is no form of entertainment in Pentecone that I wouldn't dare try. If you are willing to become my fan or my party partner, to be more precise, I can share my endless ID tokens with you so you can play to your heart's content inside the dream. Pretty tempting, right? Uh, thanks. I hate it. <laughs> it's all right, fine. I'll do it. From now on, we are ride or die partners. Drink this so glad. Let us embrace syrupism together. Uh. Oh, we could purchase these. Let me grab these real quick. Thank you. Thank you. I 10 ID tokens for 5,000. It's a good thing I'm rich. It's a good thing I'm literally filthy rich. Back to Gamba. Gamba time. Woo! All right, I've used up all Come the on. tokens. Time to meet Firefly. No, not yet. Not yet, buddy. We still got a couple more. Still got a couple more in me. Ah. I wonder, can I keep going? Let me try and keep going. Oh, no, you can't. You have to collect it. Makes sense. All right, come on. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Okay, we got the super big prize. All right. Am I going to get the uh, purple this time? Please give me the purple. Give me the purple. Give me the purple. Give me the purple. Ah, oh, come on, man. Really? All right. Here we go again. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Regular prize. All right, that's cool. That's cool, but I need some. I need some big. I need some big from y'all. I know you want to. You're just not gonna take like 20 coins from me and give me nothing, right? Come on. Come on. You some big. Some big. That's that's not that's not uh that's not something big, but come on. It's gonna be a long day, folks. Alright. Come on, I got I got three more. I can only do this one more time. Show me the money! Show me the money! I mean, I haven't got it yet. Maybe a win. Maybe. I haven't gotten that one yet. Cool. That's, that's heat. Now I got nothing left. Oh, that's great. I got a big prize here and I just what's that gonna do for me huh what's that gonna do for me what is that Ridiculous, ridiculous. Did she have fun? No. Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? No. Uh, you sound a bit sad, though. I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. Hmm. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. Oh. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. Wait, what do you mean by that? Wait, aren't, but are you actually a stowaway? I'm a lawful resident. At least now I am. Oh. Hey, could you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Okay. Did you travel here alone? That is a very suspicious question. But, um... Uh, it depends on what you want to do. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Because what? Well, someone's been following you. Really? Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Mm. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. Mm. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light Way. and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. Is that who I think it is? He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. Oh, he's I recognize those. Arms, <laughs> yet his fingers are slender and nimble. No way. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. <laughs> I recognize this man. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Of course, I recognize him. <laughs> he's coming our way. <laughs> hey, well, if 
if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer guy. <laughs> Hi, Sampo. It's been such a long time, old friend. Oh my god, what are you doing here? What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. What is he doing here? It's a Sampo. Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. Sampo Koski. <laughs> Oh You're my god. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped your L06 open up to the outside. True. Um, this gentleman is? <sighs> oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? March? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Uh, you might have the wrong girl. It's, you don't even recognize March? Damn. You should get your eyes checked. Are you sure March looks like this, man? My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. <laughs> yeah. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of his. Uh-huh. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> Firefly, let's go. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, I'm not really on bad terms with, with Sampo, am I? Not really, right? He is a bit of a trickster, but he's not, I don't think he's, like, bad. At least not yet. Nice to meet you, Sampo. <laughs> Seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? <laughs> well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Hmm. I don't know if that would if that's something that Sampo would do. Also, have you guys noticed that his voice sounds a little off? He sounds a little bit toned down than he used to sound like in your in your Relo 6. You know it's that, right? Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I don't know if that's because of the voice direction for him or if that's on purpose. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I could do much better. D doesn't Sample also tell his full name? You're right. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Nah, I think I'm good. Well, uh, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. I'm a little suspicious. And not in the way that Sam that I'm usually suspicious of Sampo. I'm suspicious that this is if this is even real the real Sampo. Dean Park. Yeah. We're going in a back alley? Nah, we're dead. We're dead here. It's over. I think we're I think we're dead, guys. There's no way this doesn't end. There's no way this ends well. What a scam. Thumb's not right. Why did that person just face through that? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, oh, boom, boom. <laughs> Always look both ways before you cross the road, guys. Uh, it takes a <laughs> long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? He is not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. 
This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess. Click to select the plate. Expend energy to activate the plate and close the plate to regain energy. What? Oh, expend energy to activate, close to regain. Okay. Um, when it's activated, you can set its rotation direction. You cannot activate any more plates when you do not have enough energy left. Click reset to reset all plates. Create a trajectory that connects the pinball launchers on both sides by activating, closing, or rotating the plates. When the tra trajectory is complete, you can launch a pinball to reach the destination. When you exit the machine, the current plate setup will be saved. Okay. Seems simple enough. Is it you or is Sample's voice different than how it was in Bellabog? Yeah, I think I think we've all noticed that it's very off. Something's not right. But we don't know if that's on purpose or not yet. It could just be the voice direction. Maybe they told him to tone it down or something. Is this the lower level of the commercial district? Bingo! Our destination is right there. Peppy Pepeshi Salon. Peppy Pepeshi's. Must have. Hey, Mister! You must have wanted. You must have wanted to try piloting a giant robot. The Diamond Doll action figure can help you realize your dream. Uh, I do want to try that. What are you waiting for? Visit your nearest designer shop to learn more about this product. It's been selling like hotcakes recently. Thanks. There's so many ice cream people. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people. Or... Those with VIP cards. Oh. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sampo. Sampo Koski, right? Oh, Sampo Koski. Where's the Koski at, man? This is the bouncer. Freeze, come over here to me. This is a Pepeshi only club. Are you a Pepeshi? Uh, I feel like I am, I guess. <laughs> First time anyone try anyone's tried pulling that one on me. Feet together, back straight, no bending your knees. Pepeshi guard who stands no taller than the doorknob makes a gesture at your waist before taking out a ruler to carefully measure the length of your legs. You're suddenly curious about how she manages to open the door. Damn. That's mean. That's over the height limit by three, but that's over the height limit by the th length of three Pepeshi canes. And you still dare to say that you're a Pepeshi? My apologies, but you're not welcome here. Please get out. Let me give you a suggestion. Maybe next time, y maybe next time you come here, try squatting down low on the ground and talking to me. Maybe I'll be in a good mood and let you slide. Uh, can I touch the fluff ball on your head? No! That's so weird. Uh, so, as long as, I'm, as long as I'm shorter than you, you'll let me in? That's just the minimum requirement. Children of other species, artificial mechanical life forms, or those who are under the height limit due to special circumstances, none of them may enter either. The rules are crystal clear, so don't try to pull any funny stuff. Uh... Uh, what about a D-team? Of course, artificial entities won't meet the requirements. I already made that very clear. What about a Wubbaboo? Astral spirits? They have no physical form, so they are a special circumstance. Of course, they don't meet the requirements. I already made that very clear. What about Arctic Bear Cubs? 
Don't squabble with me over the definition of cubs and children. No juveniles of any species. I already made that clear. Uh, what about Pepeshi who are taller than you? Hmm, I knew someone who would ask me that question. I regret to inform you that I'm the tallest Pepeshi in all of Penicunny. How else do you think I got to work this gig? I see. <laughs> well, what about me? Stop trying to stir up drama. If you keep doing this, I'll have to call the Bloodhound family over. Alright, my bad. My fault, my fault. Let me let me explain this. Only the Pepeshi people are, are entitled to enter the Pepeshi club. Do you understand now? Well, what if I change my avatar to a Pepeshi? Besides virtual observations, we also check the visitor's dreamscape pass to verify their ethnic data and place of origin so that nobody can enter while impersonating a Pepeshi. I advise you to stop coming up with crooked schemes. Well, what if a Pepeshi person changed their dreamscape avatar? Why are we be so why are we being so stubborn about this? To protect the rights of all club mass members based on regulations, if dream pa if dreamscape pass credentials are able to prove that you are a Pepeshi visitor, then entry into the club will be permitted, which is to say any appearance is allowed in. Taking this to logical conclusion, then Yes, but very few, almost no special circumstances, almost never. How would you know if I'm not a Pepeshi? This point, this point, <laughs> no. I'm so sorry for this misunderstanding. I apologize and I'm very sorry. Is that good enough? If you got nothing else to say, please go. Ah. Poor Pepeshi. Successful gaslighting. Yeah, we actually just gaslit. We actually just gaslit them. You look utterly clueless. What? Don't hit me? Oh. Hi. What are you doing? It took me so long to find a way to fly without flapping my wings. This chubby is amazing. It won't come down after flying into the sky. I don't have to use so much energy. It feels super comfy. Forget it. It's not too bad to rely on my own wings sometimes. Hi. Another bodyguard. Here we go. Huh? Oh, it's you. You here to relax? Right. I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Dude, the echo on this is crazy. Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Ah. Uh. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. <laughs> well, seems like we can't go in. Yep. Time to go. Sorry, Sampo. Uh, uh, I mean, we should just forget it, just right? stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Uh -oh. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? Oh no. The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. What are you talking about? Just a few intense emotions as far as how we'll use them you just wait and see what is he talking about sure thing i'll deliver your message to her please wait here did he just <clears throat> threaten them here's the items you asked for uh, miss thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough she wanted you to have these broken dreams she said do with them as you see fit Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. C 
Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Oh. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Oh boy. Ah, we did get these before. I got this one at least. Hmm. Emotion prototypes. A TV? A television. Wait, there's a thing open here. What's this? An entrance to Hanu's adventure to game in the dreams game. Let's perform transform yourself into a miniature Hanu first to proceed. Oh, I can't do that yet. Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? Haha! <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade! This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics this? worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? Uh, I mean, uh, why don't you try it yourself first? I want to let you enjoy this first-hand experience. Ah. <laughs> uh... Of course. It's just a suggestion. If you aren't up for it, uh, I'll do it myself. The two almost synchronously turn their gaze towards you. Or perhaps more precisely, it was three of them. Including the guy with the trembling, oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen. You know, it's time to make a choice. So, do you want to take a chance and touch this television to see what intriguing events might unfold? Touch it! Touch it, touch it. Seems like I'm left with no other options. The illusion of choice, everyone. You take a deep breath, close your eyes, and muster great courage, and with a resolve as weighty as three exclamation marks, you reach out to the suspicious screen before you. Well. I guess I'm gonna die. Woo! What? Oh no. What have we done? What do we do? Oh god. Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? What do we do? I <laughs> God, you guys are so tall. Goodness me, you guys are so tall. You desperately want to say this, but somehow you've transformed into a certain cartoon character. Your name is Hanu, a candid, a candid and taciturn figure, a lover of your hat and leader of the werewolves from Penacone's famous long for cartoon, Clocky. You're also the mascot of the Bloodhound family. You silently protect the peace of Dreamville. According to your character traits, you can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. Uh, I, what happened? You desperately want to say these, but somehow you've transformed into a certain cartoon character. Yeah, I, I guess I can't. Mm. Let out a cool, let out a grunt that sounds cool. <sighs> you made an extremely cool grunt. Man, really, it was so cool. You look so cool. <laughs> we got Xiao. <laughs> we did turn into Xiao. Lament. Good swag now, pal. Lament. So, how did he turn into that? Oh, you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. No, oh, brother. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. Uh, okay, well, uh, how do you know that? You really want to ask your old friend how they're so confident, but your character design doesn't permit you to do such a thing. God damn it. All right, well, you let out a cool grunt, a grunt that sounds cool. <laughs> Make a cool grunting noise. Have you thought about why you'd ever change about why you'd ever change back if you could keep being this cool? Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have 
to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. Okay. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. I guess I have no choice. Clock Studios has designed an arcade and a arcade game in Pentacody's Dreamscape, able to let the guests play in the cartoon character Hanu. Uh, through the transform device and, and experience a miraculous adventure in the corner of the dreamscape. Uh, in the story of Hanu's adventure, he was made smaller by Boss Stone's strange device. He then had to experience a grand adventure with his small body and take back the treasure Boss Stone from the town. Well, the treasure a Boss Stone took from the town, yeah. A pair of wolf-like sharp, a wolf-like sharp eyes are hidden under Hanu's sunglasses. Use the button to activate his Hanu vision to observe the tools that can be utilized and try to find the hidden treasure. Okay. Nah. Is this really me? <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. Oh, look how small you've become. You won't be able to escape this time. Nah. What is going on? Height reveal? <laughs> Guys, trust me. I'm taller than this in real life. Have you seen the new four-star light cones in the light cone manifest store? No, I haven't. Not yet. I could return to normal form here. What if I... Whoa. I wonder. Nope, that doesn't work. I'm 4-3? No. <laughs> Your way is blocked. How pitiful. There's a huge secret that I would never tell you. If you swap bodies again through the TV, you'll be able to destroy the obstacle and break through. <laughs> oh! You just told me, man. Yo, oh, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. <laughs> What? You mean I can touch the TV to change back to myself? No way! Birds. So stuffy in here. Are you here to save me? <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> it's so cool that Birdie tilts its head at you. <laughs> you can't talk at all. Forget it. Thank you, Chirp. I'm leaving now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Using the fantastic rockets built by the origami bird, Hanu can sh quickly shift between the ends of different rockets to reach places otherwise inaccessible. Cool. Oh, there's a big chest up here. Yo, rat! You foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. L. Fine. I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back! Yay, we did it! You're going all around, you find yourself at the entrance to Boss Stone's maze. Ooh, it gave us a light cone and it's trash. Thanks. Thank you, Star Rail.
I'm back. You're back. <sighs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I, I, I mean, do you have anything to say, Sam Paul? Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. I, I guess. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> Just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. I said the proverbial verb of freedom while it's like handcuffs and donuts. What are you trying to say, huh, Oivers? What are you trying to say? You look utterly clueless. Clueless. You've had quite a bit to drink. There's a chest here. Financial advisor. Everyone here is just puking. Ew. Bear. I go all the way over here. Holy. Ooh, look at his car. Dang, it's wrapped. Jeez. God damn. Family merchant. Ooh, they have these. Dream syrup. Covers three technique points for the team. Why not? What's here? Buh. The car. Oh my god. A luxury utopian unicycler. What does this actually do? What does this actually do? I have no idea what that did. It's just a sticker? Hmm. Is it a car key? Maybe. Doesn't seem like it does anything though. Okay, before I go back and do this, I want to get something to snack on real quick. Okay. 
<laughs> nice. I got some chocolates. Kind of fit the theme. And when I had trouble with the stream, you had to come back multiple times. Is it going down? It might be Twitch's problem, because I'm not dropping any frames. Could be Twitch's end. <laughs> Buffering a lot earlier? That's weird. Wasn't this just wasn't just this stream? It might be Twitch. Hmm. That's weird. That's weird. All right, let's continue though. Welcome to Dreamscape Sales Store, Doctor Edward, at your service. Doctor Edward, <gasps> trailblazer of the Astral Express. <laughs> Here we are again. Uh -huh. I see you've got two friends with you. Bless you, my fine people. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. Why does Sample... I feel like Sample knows his way around this too much. Be my guest. Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? Y'all feel that too, right? He knows a little too much. A superb idea, sir. Let's do it! The one from last night would be perfect! Um, what's going on? Well, this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Oh, is that what we were collecting all those for? Any dreams you want, though, right? Exactly! Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? Yeah. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Hmm. The dog! I just saw. I just noticed it. The dog. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over to me. Your location is appreciated. Your retrieval is complete. Now, calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. It's ready! Please, close your eyes, and rest your forehead against the dream. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Something bad's about to happen, isn't it? Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? Uh, where is everyone? This is the surprise that will be revealed later. You have to remember, in a dream, anything is possible. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, Sampa. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. Okay, y'all heard that, right? For headphone users, y'all heard the... His voice going back and forth, right? Between each ear. That was weird. Miss part of the stream is how did Sample get in Pentagony? We don't know. He says he's just here on vacation like everybody else, but he's a little suspicious because he sounds different. Is this another note? And he's also not been saying his full name when he introduces himself. Sample's advice, become the garbage king through the trash bags have been long, oh no, become the garbage king though the trash bags have been long broken. What did he mean by this? Well, I have no idea. I didn't come here when I had this dream. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you see. Okay. Huh? What? What? Oh what no. What's happening? Oh no. Oh god. Why are there trash cans? Huh? What? Everyone is a trash can? Is that what this is? Is this Natasha? Oh my god. I... My name is Shatana, and I have a deal to offer you. That sounds eerily familiar. Probably just experiencing some deja vu. Let's get back to the question. Have you heard of Tatalov, the Garbage King? They're speaking Simlish? <laughs> He's our king, as well as the manager of all the waste in this world. Perched on his throne, he uplifts trash cans that are humble and suppresses those that are violent. He's the cornerstone of Bellabog, the lid that secures us, the barrel that reinforces us. Uh, however, since this thing, since the thing from the beyond the sky arrived here along with the eternal freeze, Tadalov's eyes have been blinded. He stopped listening to our calls. Leaving the impoverished to be bullied and his loyal servants to be degraded. The humiliation was too much for us. We intended to help Garbage King mend his ways under the banner of the Skyfire. But we were no match for his the sinister king who spread vicious rumors among the trash cans to divide us against each other. As a result, we could no longer communicate with one another to using trash bags. I implore your help to restore peace to the trash bags so that the trash cans here may be united once more. Then we'll be able to launch a counterattack against the undeserving king. So you want me to rally everyone together? You're speaking in riddles. I think she's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these um trash cans and lead their battle against the evil king. Or something like that. Dude, the the going back and forth with the ears is so trippy. It's kind of freaking me out. Uh... What deal? Hey, 
help the trash cans with their troubles and collect three proofs of trust. Once you've accomplished that, you'll become our new king and, our, and lead our fight against the evil king. Off you go, Dream Diver. Your mission is calling for you. I'm confused. <laughs> That's so funny. That line right there is so funny. And shit, that line is literally just pure confusion. I'm confused. Alright, um... We've had enough to tattle off his oppression. To retrieve our belongings from his treasure trove, the resources vital to our livelihood seized by the tattle off's greed and tyranny, we must open this door. Uh, open sesame. Strange. You haven't done anything, but the door opens slowly. It turns out that this is an automatic sensor door. It just can't sense trash cans. God damn it. Bruh. The door is open. The legends are true. You are the savior destined to defeat Tatalov. The god of trash sends you to return the tyrant's treasures to us. I wonder if anybody can actually translate this. I wonder if they'll like actually just... Did they just tell him to actually speak gibberish? Huh. I've never felt so exhilarated before. When you raise the banner of rebellion against Santa Law, I and the other oppressed cans shall stand by your side. You watch the trash cans excitedly crowd into the treasure trove, tearing open bag after bag of garbage and pouring the contents into their torso. What? What? Huh? The trash can prince. Normal looking trash can, all magical. A kingdom of trash cans actually has an ordinary trash can. This is a rare opportunity. Do you wish to do something to it? Insert trash. That's the job of a trash can. You chuck whatever random things you have on hand into its pitch black bottomless void. A series of loud sounds thundered back. What the? When you open your eyes again, the trash can is no longer just a trash can. Now it's a trash can. With arms and legs. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful stranger. I am the trash can prince, and my father was assassinated by Tatalov. I was cursed into becoming a trash can. You saved me from internment. <laughs> I shall offer everything I have, my body, my soul, my life, even my trash bags, just to repay your kindness. Uh, you talk like a knight of beauty. Uh, there are many cans who compliment my beauty, but I am not familiar with the name of of which you just spoke. The only knightly order in this kingdom is the Gold Steels, each of which, each of whom is a noble and respectable can of the highest order. What is going on? Am I tripping out? Stand against me again. Stand with me against Tatalov. <laughs> I will stand with you and ignite the rising smoke of rebellion until the kingdom is saved from absolute peril. Alright, cool. Thank you, trash can prince. This is so trip this is so trippy. Like what is going on? I'm dreaming. Yeah. Why is the trash can rizzing us? What, you think trash cans can't riz people up? Nice. Some trash cans look real nice. Feel like you're in a fever dream? Yeah, that's kind of the vibes of this. I'm 
I'm eating chocolate, sorry. Mm. We'll see what chocolate it is. Minions chocolate. Two trash cans stand around each other, argu arguingly carelessly about a certain matter. A dispute, a dispute awaits your fair judgment. Mm. This is a legendary golden trash, a symbol of power and status. Only the most qualified trash can may lay claim to it. All of us feel that we are tra that we are that trash can. So and so we keep fighting for it. Uh, so we have decided that an observer possessing unique and just in and just insight should be the judge for this matter and decide to whom the reward will belong and bring a conclusive end to this long dispute. <laughs> If you give the golden trash to me, I will pledge you endless wealth, more than enough to fill the biggest trash can there is. If you give the golden the golden trash to me, the wise can, I will grant you endless knowledge, more than any full bag of trash can, uh, full bag of trash can provide. If you bestow upon me this golden trash, the beautiful can, I shall promise you the most beautiful trash can in the world, myself. I will stand beside you as a partner beyond peer and face beyond peer and face all your trials and triumphs by your side. What is your choice? Split into three. Wait, does it does this get rid of the golden trash? What if I just keep it? What if I want it? I'm gonna keep it. Under the watchful eyes of the three, you claim the golden trash as your own in, as your own. Indeed, among these small trash cans, is there anyone who stands as tall and as upright as you do? The conundrum that is that has stimmed us for so long. Fix just like that? Then who is the most qualified can? No. That no longer mattered. The outliner must be trying to help us understand how foolish this dispute of ours was. You have proven yourself with your actions. This signifies our loyalty and longing. We wish for you to have it. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them? <laughs> He's so confused. I love it. What about everyone else? I can't talk to anyone else? Dang. This trash bag is at the bottom of this trash can. You saw this is seal bag. A few fish bones have been clipped. Have clipped the mouth bag shut. What the? Green smoke wafts up from the from within the bag together with a loud noise. It twists and congeals in the air, slowly becoming a giant trash can. Oh, hi. I am free. I am Garboski. A can of unmatched evil. Bruh. Tatalov used a despicable means to defeat me and seal me in this deep and cramped trash bag. For the first 500 years of my imprisonment, I swore an oath that if a can came to save me, I would reward them with endless wealth. Then, for the next 500 years, I swore that if a can saved me, I would reward them with endless trash. However, 10,000 years have passed. That's 2,500 year periods. But no cans came. Therefore, I swore that if a can came to save me, I would reward them with a painless death. What? 
You've you've oh. come and now you must die? What? What did I do? I saved this man's life and I'm getting killed for it? That's not fair. I saved you. Correct. I will now offer you a final mercy. You get to choose how you wish to die? Nah. Nah. I'm gonna Uno reverse you. I don't believe you were sealed in this trash bag. Nah. I, yes. Tadalov used the same trick against me. With such a massive body like yours, how could a bad, how could a bag fit you? And so I slipped into a trash bag before him and found myself sealed. Bruh. Even the vilest trash can is capable of learning to heed a lesson. Your tactics are ineffective against me now. Now, feel my 10,000 years. 500 years times 20 of fury. Oh, we're finding a trash can. Oh, that's he. What? I sent a storm. Bruh. Heaven, sir. Rise. My turn. What is going on? Nah. Uh -oh. Lands at the ready. Hit. You can't run. The strength. But did that thing just kick through my entire? Weaken the world cleansing dragon. Shield. Heaven search. Also, it's. Break. All right. Cool. I I don't know what's happening. I I promise you, I am just as clueless as anybody else right now. I didn't expect you to be strong. I acknowledge your bravery. Perhaps there's no need to conduct a pointless battle. Why not stand with me against Tatalov? Countless years of captivity have whittled my flat edges. My prime is long past, never to return. I only wish to pass the rest of my life as a normal trash can. Farewell, stranger. Alright. Bye, I guess. There's more. Uh, what are the rest of them? Oh, there's trash and meaties. Do I, do I do all of them? Why not? Screw it. I don't want to skip it because I know we're not going to come back here. You dealt with the sealed demon, Garboski. He is so powerful and terrifying, but you defeated him. How magnificent of you. You've won me over, along with many others. This item carries our high regard for you. Oh, hey, another proof of trust. Cool. That's hey. Trashimedes. Archimedes. The, this particular trash can stands quietly. It's lit as chipped and faded paint. Uh, it's meticulously counting the roadside trash, occasionally sighing or scratching its head as if it's struggling to memorize an astronomical number. Are you here to mock me too? Or are you seeking wise answers? Why are you counting trash? Uh, uh. It's a long story. A long, long time ago, I angered Tatlov. I told him that even the most stable of nations has their decay of their day of decay, and even all the trash in the stars can eventually be be counted. It is unclear which part of the sentence infuriated him. And as punishment, he assigned me this role, demanding that I count all the trash in the city. Before then, I before then I am able, I am never. Before then, I am to never issue forth my opinions. Damn, silenced. 1984, actually. <laughs> Hello, cute mooch. Hmm. 
It's rare for a can to be so straightforward. I do possess the proof of trust, but it's not lost in the mountain of trash. If you want it, work with me. I have counted the majority of trash in the city, leaving only these two, these uh, these three newly arrived cans. All right. Well. Oh, this one. What sort of trash would Trash King was Trash King? What sort of trash would Trash Can Kingdom hold? Curiosity peaked, and you opened the lid of the first trash can. Unfortunately, there isn't any difference. Maybe Doctor Edward did not have time to attend to these details. <laughs> All right. He said. He said, "I'm too lazy for this." There's a comic book inside this trash can. The pages are torn and damaged. It tells of an adventure. Tatalov was once a brave trash can. With, val with a valiance and willpower, it defeated a colossal junk monster and saved a human from its monstrous maw. In order to repay Tatalov, the human, that human turned himself into a trash can. This is actually a horror story. <laughs> okay. You see, nothing un you see something unexpected. A true sting. Lying inside the trash can, looking back at you. Die, remnants of propagation. It is time to rid the people of this menace. Use your bat to tell it to tell it that this is a kingdom of preservation. Who oh, dare disrupt my slumber? Try that again. The strength. Okay. I like how all these you actually do require to use imaginary. So maybe it's a good thing that I have Don Hung and Baby Lune on, on my party. Imagine me having to do all this with just regular Don Hung. Can you imagine how long this would have taken if I just had Wind Don Hung as my DPS? Break. You chose the wrong one. 10 plus hours. Oh, but it kind of seems like they do get a weakness. The trash cans get a weakness, whatever you apply it to? Oh no. Wait, how does that work? Huh. Also, the sound is like glitching out. I think that's a bug. I'm pretty sure that's a bug with the sound glitching out. Receive divinity. Oh, thanks a lot. Because it's never used to happen before. And it only started happening in like the recent two updates. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Hmm. You can't hide. The times are changed. Heaven search. Told you I could fight. I'll see you off. You got Donhung in his weapon? His weapon came at 6 pity? Nice. That's a W. You went along with Embigger Lune and Welt? I wish I had Welt, honestly. If I had Welt, I could actually be. I could actually maybe make this like a. What is it we're waiting for? I could probably make this like a lore accurate theme. It's time. After a loud boom, propagation's crisis has ended. The world is once again peaceful, and the trash can who has endured uh, undeserved ordeals has returned to his slumber. Thank you, Nameless. Cool. You've proven your wisdom and patience. You deserve this proof of trust. Thanks. Got Fimiko? No. This is who I have. Oh. And this is all the people I have. Hmm. Maybe I could do ratio though, because he's here. But he did say he was going home though.
I don't know. Hmm. But I believe you collected all the proof of trust. Your determination is truly admirable. I'll escort you to your throne, the pillars of creation, where you'll witness the future of my people. Damn. What happened here? Oh my god. Why is this guy just staring at something? Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. This is a little, uh... Such a tragic scene. <laughs> oh no, the trash cans. No. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Didn't they say the garbage king would wait for me here? Have I been set up? Uh oh, what the? Sampo! What? What the? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what was going on? That was was from the trailer? That's the moment from the trailer. What a bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. Nah. What did you give me, Sampo? I'd easily finish him off with one punch. Call me Saitama. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. Oh, turn the volume. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. What truth? What are you, what are you trying to say? You, you, is this weird dream trying to hide a hint at some hidden meaning? Hint at? No, more like reveal. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you what? think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Pemiconi? Uh, maybe. I don't. I don't know. I I only just got here, so I don't know. I don't know about all that. I'm not gonna cut. Martin Scorsese got gagged at the direction of this one. A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm gonna be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Okay, so now it sounds... Now I'm sounding... Now you're sounding more like the regular Sampo. What are you up to exactly, Sampo? Same as always, pal. If you still don't get it. Just turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? She claims what? to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> mm. See you around, pal. Don't let me down. 
What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? Firefly. I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. Yeah, where did she even go? Why did she leave like that? Why did Firefly? What's going on? The girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. I. I mean, you don't have to apologize. I don't find you suspicious. Do I? I mean, I kind of didn't really question her before then. I mean... <laughs> Thank you. There are things... I'm hiding from you. I'm not a local. I mean... And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. I mean, I already kind of knew you weren't a local, but... <laughs> but still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. Alright, so, I mean... Ooh, wait, we can ask her to come aboard! You want to come aboard? Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Wait, can we actually get a new member? Wait, hold on. Oh, why do my stream elements just... I think Twitch actually is bugging right now. For some reason my stream elements like bugged out, but... Uh, how am I? Mm, sure, I believe Thanks. you. Go ahead. I'm gonna trust her. She doesn't seem like she has malicious intentions. But the fact that she's not telling the whole truth to us is a little sus. Another book. Read that later. You guys actually think we'll get a new member? Your phone couldn't handle Penicone, laggy as fuck. Let's go this way. He's running now. I wonder, what are my graphics on right now? Let me see my graphics. 60. Yeah. I'm on like the highest settings, and I'm still doing fine. Somehow. I really do wish one day we can actually get 140 frames per second. Huh? God, I can't Is wait for that day. Crying for help over there. Where? Also, my ping. Oh my God! Is that Clocky? Someone's dying! Please come here. Clocky? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Can you see me? Is there a problem? You sound like Mickey Mouse. I can see a clock with limbs. Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! Misha? Oops! I, I haven't introduced myself. Wait, Misha's dying? My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Pentacony. My friends and I keep... Alright, come on, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Come on, we need to get to Misha if he's dying. Soda, origami bird, hamster ball night. Oh my god. Misha. Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Can I... Can I... Can I... How can I help? Clocky? Do you mean... You saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life. Yes, that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm not hallucinating, right? TikTok, I'm really here. As 
the humble face of Hanakoni, I never, ever brag. Um, where is he? I, I can't see him. D Ten God damn it. Song. I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. What? <laughs> like this kid here clad in gray. What? Uh, he said only... He said you weren't innocent, kind, or honest. Just how so? Tick tock, tick tock, my great friend. Since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Misha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. He's begging for my help. He says someone's life is in danger. Uh, is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this um clocky? That only you can see? Yes, can we wrap it up so we can make sure Misha doesn't die? Is, anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick tock! Tick tock! Hurry up and follow me, great friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Anyway, better check out what's going on. I swear I'm tripping out. Very coincidental Coward. this only happened. Looks like something really Everyone, did happen. Please, calm down. Tick tock! <sighs> He's there! He's there! See? Clocky! Uh, everyone, please stay calm! You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Punishing boss. Punishing boss. Punish boss. What is going on? <sighs> How did it come to this? <laughs> How do you get cornered by this? How did she get cornered? How come they're all people I know? What do you mean by all? See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! Tick tock! I'm begging you, my gray friend! Begging you! Please help Misha! Alright. I... My base, my baseball bat can't wait to show its might. Just fill me in what's going on. Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Huh. I'm really curious too. Yeah, why can't she see him? Tick tock, tick tock. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, hmm. taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, clockwork. I can direct the flow of Positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Are we about to do this shit with the power of friendship? Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise if you take action now we can catch him off guard uh what is clockwork here i'll show you first close your eyes okay Tick -tock. now our what? minds have merged into one can you feel an energy Surging through your body. I don't know what just happened. All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. Please bear in mind that you Wait. should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all. Tick tock. So we're killing him with kindness? Alright, I guess we kill him with kindness. Hey, gangster boss. How about you pick up I on somebody your own size? Lad. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. How about you pick on someone your own size, buddy? Even though she's like... Actually... 
probably almost as tall as you, but still. Use your clockwork to tune this person's emotional state. Finally, make your confirmation here, TikTok. Calm, sad, happy. How about happy? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I might have, I might have overtuned it. Uh, I saw a dial and I got it moving. Here comes the clockwork. It's just that seeing that gleeful smile on his face. Oh, he's just as scary as he was before. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Please allow me to welcome all of you to Penacone Land of the Dreams. Come on now, line up and give our honored guests a warm welcome. Uh, sure. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Bruh, sure. Ready? Go! Welcome, welcome to Pentecone. Land of the Dreams. Nah. Uh, 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 no need for such formalities. We're, uh, family. Yeah, we're family, guys. Wow, well, seems like you've established yourself as an important figure around here. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Uh, uh, I appreciate the ge the gesture, but can we have some privacy, please? Sure thing. Uh, you're the boss. Hey, gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? Gang, gang. I wonder what would have happened if you made him sad. He'd probably just start crying. <laughs> yes, yes, boss. And they would be so confused. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Yeah. Misha, are you acquainted with this gray friend of mine? Why do you keep calling me gray? I just call me, I don't know, call me Batman or something. He's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about him before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's him. Anyway, thanks a lot. You hadn't gotten here in time. Whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and you said we weren't gonna see each other again like that. Hmm. I uh, well, no need to thank me. It's the least I could do. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Thanks. Is this lady your friend, too? I mean, if you want to call me that. <laughs> well, how about it? We've only met each other once before, but he has a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. Yes. Yes. It's my pleasure to meet you. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Damn! Lady. <laughs> Damn, risen her up. By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? Uh. Mm, he. Uh, he taught me some clockwork. That's right! It was me! Clocky! Of course! You played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dream Bill would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yeah. Yes. Uh, that cartoon character. How do we explain I this? Think he's <laughs> shown up in reality? I mean, in the dreamscape. Uh, what, what? I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here. But according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. Damn. None of y'all got childlike innocence? That's crazy. Not even Misha? Huh? Not even Misha? It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. But why me? Why am I so innocent? Misha can see him? He can't? I thought he really exists. I can explain a lot of things. I didn't see the line where he said he could see him. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. 
Will you talk to him? Oh, I see. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream. Probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. Hmm. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Memo keeper? Who? Shortly after we parted ways, uh -oh. I met Red a lady text. wearing a black veil who was also a guest at the hotel. We had a good time talking about the event over drinks. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection, huh? Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that Flocky you saw? Yeah. After all, it is a grand event held by the family. I guess this could be a lot longer than we imagined. Mm. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I mean, they did invite so you many factions. I wish you a in the dream and I shall not interrupt your date. Date? D -d 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 date? Sorry, my bad. No. We're not on a date. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's not what this is. She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. All right. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Misha! He's a visitor on the express now. Yay! Now you know how to use clockwork. Go try changing someone's emotions. Different emotions bring different surprises. You can use clockwork on anyone with a clocky mark on their heads. Uh, when you get the chance, make sure to try it out as much as you need. Misha. Hey, we were, wait, we got kind of far. Holy shit. Wait, have we gone kind of far? Dang, how far have we gone into this? I've got a long way to go, really? Damn. They made this one jam packs, didn't they? Which is good. We definitely needed some content. Not complaining about it. This is a weird angle. Fuck it. This is so... <laughs> this, this one is so messy. Oh shit. What is life if one can't dream with reckless abandon? Sick. Tick tock. Did I get any more stickers? Oh, I did get Misha. Misha! Misha's so cute. I can batch select the sis- the, uh, the stickers? Err... Uh, she? Wait, what? Wait. Wait, did I- did I misgender Misha? Wait a minute, hold on. Away. I have no idea. In the 
In the pleasure-drenched maze, you find yourself fortunate to encounter a local guide. You are unable to judge if, a, if Firefly is an adequate guide or not, but you feel... We can be friends. Uh, you think you can become her friend. You trust your insight into others and believe you have the charisma required to make every young maiden you encounter in your journeys into a persistent presence in your life. Damn, he said he got Riz. That I got Riz you up. this one there's a good stopping point after the next segment so it's fine okay because i i have been streaming for a little bit it's been five hours holy shit oh my goodness um the pleasures the golden hour can provide are myriad and bountiful ignoring whether such topics should be discussed on stage at all but no pleasure can match the feeling of reuniting with old friends pulled by the color of undeniable blue the implications he poses for you are why did it have to be him? Reminiscence isn't bad, or that guy's a bit of a scoundrel. Um. He's a bit of a scoundrel, isn't he? You run into Sample again. Past experiences still leave you still leave you with a strong distaste towards him. Such an unshakable sense of justice is commendable. However, from another perspective, Sample Koski is also someone who once saved you. Maybe it's best not to be so harsh when judging another. True. Money. Shmoney. Money. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> oh my god. Shine bright like a diamond. Oops. Oh my god, that just made everything go back behind it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. God damn it. I wasn't trying to do that, bruh. Don't you hate it when you accidentally make everything go behind that? Okay. There's something else here I'd add into these notes. Upon returning, re returning to reality, many guests are required to retake their driver's license test. For those who have experienced the golden hour, they can easily understand the reasoning behind this requirement. <laughs> wow. And then talking clock. <clears throat> All right. A vivid cartoon figure appears before you. A pity that you can't be considered a fan of the Clocky franchise, but interest can always be slowly nurtured, right? Um, Its appearance may be a hidden sign. True. I feel like that. This feels like some kind of allegory for your journey. The gun that showed up in, one, in scene one has to go off in scene three, right? You might just be right. Uh... In this universe ruled by Kajalt, Kazalt, Kasalt, Causality, not a single encounter is without significance. Oh, it's all the characters. Clocky. Actually, wait, what if I. Bird. No birdie. And then this dude, this boss stone. OK. 
Okay. How are y'all feeling about the story so far and Pentacone? Y'all like it? I am really enjoying it so far. Nice. Best so far. You love it? Finish the quest is favorite out of any, any horrible quest except maybe Honkai Impact third one? Hmm. Savor the moments? I will try my best. Will I finish it today? Probably not. I won't finish it all today. Because I have been uh, doing this for a while. But hopefully I don't get spoiled. That's the one thing I'm worried about. Eating chocolate. How'd you know? Definitely go, don't go on TikTok for now if I don't use it. Thankfully, I'm not on Honkai Impact Third TikTok or even Hoyaverse TikTok in general. So I think Sorry. I'm good on that part. I'm afraid we need to take the pinball machine to reach this place. Uh, you go first, and I'll be right behind you. Yeah, thankfully I'm not on Honkai Impact Third TikTok, or Honkai Star Row TikTok rather. So I think I'll, I'll be good with the spoilers. The only power I'm worried about is accidentally seeing them on Twitter. It's. Her secret stronghold is a... a cafe? Hmm. Here. Twitter and YouTube are full of spoilers? Okay, yeah, Twitter might be a problem as well. I mean, not not Twitter, but like... Yeah, yeah, yeah Twitter and YouTube. But YouTube might be the bigger problem for sure, because I do have a lot of Twitter... I do get a lot of Star Rail Twitter recommendations, so... Puzzle. What the? What it? Oh. Occasionally you may find malfunctioning dream tickers in Pentacony. Interacting with them allows you to enter the emoscape and repair these poor guys. In the emoscape, you, some building blocks are interactable and you can either drag or move them or click to rotate them. Use these blocks to help Clocky complete the path and collect gears to repair their mind. In addition, there is a movable dream mirror that replicates existing paths. Once a pathway to a gear is complete, Clocky will automatically collect the gear. Collect all gears to complete the repairs. After existing the emoscape, uh, you can awaken the repaired dream tickers and re receive gifts from them. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Wow, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Mm. That is so cool, actually. This reminds me of Monument Valley. That one mobile game, Monument Valley. I love that game so much.
Yay! I think I drank too much. I'm sorry. With my paycheck, I can't afford to treat to, to so glad. Hmm. <laughs> Place like mighty fine. No, uh, it isn't. This is. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we become a teenage mutant into turtles, bruh. What a beautiful manhole cover. Yes, it's right inside. Uh. Uh, you want me to crawl? You want me to crawl in there? Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. <sighs> oh, Sparkle! Hey, let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, oh, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? God damn it, Adventurine. <sighs> Spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Hmm. Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. Honey, Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. Damn. Tell oh, us tell us that. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Although that might have been kind of racist. Is frivolous, vain. And flashy, and that suits me just fine. I mean, that might have been kind of racist, but tell, tell that to Adventuring in particular because he's kind of a dickhead. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Panacone? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. Mm. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Chicken wing boy? What? How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? What? <laughs> it's okay. Friends. Oh, please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Mm. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Mm. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? Damn! At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> Tell his ass. So long. Uh <laughs> Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. 
okay, she might be a little bit racist, but like, <laughs> she, she, she's a little bit racist. But I will not, I will not lie. Some of it might be deserved for this man. <sighs> not the racism part, but like, he deserves to get told off. What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Oh, wait, the clock is. Wait, what is this? Hmm. She called him gay and a bottom. Absolutely destroyed. Oh. Dreams are supposed to be confusing. Halfway house. Look! This place is breathtaking, isn't it? Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry. This place isn't dangerous, just, um... Think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. Okay. A person sleeping here. Oh, I am so ready for this day to be Oh, bird. Bird. Oh, this is the place, is it? Ah, yeah, it is. It is the place where they're at. Okay. Uh. It's the nesting site. Burp. I was invited here. I'm Clocky's friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> leave it to find them yourself. Wow, that's so mean. Girl said he would strip naked for Sunday. I'm sure a lot of people would. I'm sure a lot of people would strip for Sunday. I'm here now. I'm congrats. I'm one third of the whole story. One third. Jesus, I'm so far behind. Hey, excuse me. There's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. How did everyone get pat? How did everyone speed run this so fast? Drat. We're caught right away. Uh, could you just let us through this time? Could you uh, please make an exception? We're not going to cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. <laughs> Here's some credits for you. Uh, we know Galar. Who? Eh, never heard of him. Shit. I wouldn't let you in even if the Dream Master were here. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Um, let me think of another way. My bad. Clocky's clocky power trick can come in handy. True. Uh, this doesn't count as malicious intent, right? Err. Guess aren't you won't know. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. Because the composed man before you appears impenetrable. Perhaps you need to provoke him a bit. Angry? What if I make him angry? <laughs> Make you happy, bro. Be happy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my. Uh, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Uh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. 
<laughs> Buddy, you look uh, you look as delighted as me. Ooh, can you feel it? It's, this is wild. It feels like I just downed ten bottles of Apocalypse Soul Glad in one gulp and spent an entire day at the Dreamscape sales store. Uh-oh. Oh, if Mia were here, we would sing a song together. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she would understand how I feel. I can hardly contain this palpable excitement. Oh, I'd like to invite you to dance with me, handsome. Oh. Right here, right now. Oh, okay. I'll, 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 um, uh, will you let us in after I dance with you? Oh, no way. Rules are rules. <sighs> wow. It's totally fine if you want to turn me down. No dance for you, then. This crazy mood and this pounding heart are just what I need. I... <sighs> I wish, I wish it would last forever. Still, I won't let you guys in because it's my duty to stop you. Okay. He really is a man of principle. Yeah, that's... The man has become content but remains impenetrable. Perhaps you need to provoke him a bit. And yeah, what about sad then? Be sad. Ah, honored guests. Welcome to Penacony. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. My job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. Even a trash can is more important than me. Damn, I made him depressed. Uh-oh. Um, I am the danger! <laughs> Oh my god. I am the one who knocks. Um. Uh, I mean, I like, I like trash cans. They're, uh, the trash cans are important. I like them. Oh, in that case, I'd recommend that you see Dr. Edward for a psychotherapy session. Damn. Uh, what? Anyway, please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead of talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. Damn. I, I, will, will you let us through? Oh, 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 no way. Whoa, really? This, there's little dignity left in me. Please be nice and don't trample on it. Wow, this really is like at the top of his mind. This man is constantly thinking about not letting anyone in. This is the most important thing in his life. Uh, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but I swear I'll stop you or die trying. After all, I have nothing left to lose. It really is the most important thing in his mind. I feel really bad. <laughs> The man mentioned die trying. It might just be worth trying to give him what he wanted. That is, if you can live with it. Uh, I would not like to be a part of an assisted suicide. Thank you very much. What angry. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Gah! Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're gonna regret it. My bad, bro. Sorry. I, come on, let's fight. I mean, that's not. I, that's not what I mean, though. I don't try talking back to me. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic. You idle away your time every day, going around, stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. Damn, where is this coming from? Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, sweet dreams troop. Teach them a lesson. Nah. What? What is that? What was that? Our awakened dormant scale. World cleansing dragon. Projecting much for real. Bro, let it all out on us. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Lance at the ready. Hit. 
Yeah, I don't know why some of the sound is glitched. Hopefully they fix that, because it's kind of weird. Fighting while it's glitched like that. Not a single sound effect. That's hate. Why? Can I go in now? Oh, darn it! I can't believe I've lost. Huh? Is this is this the power of youth? No, this is just a skill issue. If I'd had that power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? Damn! So wait, so he was projecting on us. He was. Oh. 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 All right, uh, you can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. <laughs> never imagine that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. Bruh. Will of preservation. Or I'm just gonna walk by you. I don't want to deal with you. I want to walk by you as well. I like how they have like a D20. The path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the Dreamer's tools. Okay. What happens next is going to blow your mind. Okay. Mhm. Mm oh yes. More of this. Activating the dream's eyes allows you to switch the dream the dream weaver's view. In this mode, disconnected paths or those with heighted height discrepancies uh, discrepancies will be connected in an incredible way. Click this button to switch between observer mode and action mode. Observer mode provides additional information about the scene, while action mode uh, grants character movement and interaction. In the dream weaver's view, your character's movement is limited with the, within the screen boundaries. To move beyond these boundaries, you need to activate the Dream's Eye. Interact with the Dream's Eye to enter or exit the Dreamweaver's view. To quickly deactivate the Dream's Eye, click the minimap in the upper left corner to open the world map and teleport to an, an, an activated space anchor. Okay. Different points in space are linked together? That's kind of cool. Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> Look at Marsh. <laughs> I like how they like get rid of the outlines in this mode. Facial's castle time? Yeah, I remember that. I wonder if that's what they were testing that for. Dream bird. Let's wait and see. We can use the building materials that are floating around in the air. Interacting with this device highlights the corresponding dream modules and their trajectory. Use the interactive options to rotate or move the module along the set trajectory. Trajectory. Nice. You hated fish shows because it had to be exact in each rope, you crazy. Yeah, that was the one problem about it. I don't know if it's going to be the same with this one, though. Hopefully not. It's like stepping on planks, floating on water. Plank. Let's go that way. Any plankers? Yet again, Genshin is testing grounds for bettering Star Rail. They're not gonna like that one. Oh my god, it's this one. Uh, I don't think I can get past it. Repent. Repent. God, the game is so loud when you're battling, man. Told you I could fight. Told you I could fight. I'll see you off. 
We go. The consequences are mine to bear. We can get to the rooftop of the opposite building from here, but it requires a device. I remember it's hidden here. In this one? Puzzle gentleman holding the dream jigsaws may appear anywhere in Penacone. Completing the jigsaw puzzle will make the object within it disappear or, or within it appear in the dreamscape. Draw jigsaw pieces and place them in the correct position within the frame. Click jigsaw pieces to rotate them for the correct angle. Once a puzzle is complete, the object within the within will appear in the dreamscape. Okay. Puzzles, huh? I am not good at puzzles. Or jigsaw puzzles rather. Actually, wait. Can I... Can I take that other one back? Wait. I, how, how, wait, how do I take the other one back? Oh, here we go. Bam! And it comes out just like that! No matter how many times I've seen it, it still looks magical. I am Pepega. Yes. Or good night, Carl. <sighs> I wonder where's a good place to stop. Because I have been doing this for a while. I don't want to make it too long because I do want to at least like edit some of it so I can get the video out soon. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> I'm on guard. On guard. Uh, I sense a storm. <laughs> Told you I could fight. <laughs> Try that again. You're getting a good stopping point soon? Okay. I'll just keep going then. I'll see you off. But I'm having fun doing this, honestly. This is really cool. The strength. Penacony is super fun. Good stopping point at the next major cutscene. Alright, I see. Okay. Keep that in mind. How are you still alive? Please die. There we go. What? Oh, there's more. Fuck. I don't know what this thing does. You can go. I'm not gonna make. I'm, I'm make sure I, I'm not getting hit by that. Lands at the ready. I sense a storm. Hello, Lulu, Lulu Rara. You're busy getting your master's degree. W. W education. I'm on guard. The strength. Heavens. Get that degree. Get that degree. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Um, I don't feel like doing that. Here we go. Oh, I didn't do anything. Oops, my bad. Activate. Rotate. Hey, 
There we go. Is it just you or the trebles are not making a sound when attacking? Yeah, the sound is bugged. I don't know. I don't know how it started, but uh, the uh, some sound effects aren't working properly. That might that might I don't know if that's on my end or if that's a bug with Star Rail itself, but I'll have to see after the uh, stream. It started popping up during um. It started popping up in the in the last update. So it's kind of weird. Thought it would have been fixed by now. So I think many people has had those audio problems. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I have to verify my game files or some shit. Very weird. Oh, this is so cool. I love doing this. I'm serious in about where you are. Nice. Look, that's the Penaconi Grand Theater over there. Ooh. What's that one? Wait, what's this? It radiates dazzling light perpetually. Just like this glamorous dream. Ooh. I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. Like countless fireflies chasing the fire. Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. Nice. You know, okay, it's just weird to say, but it kind of does feel like they're sending this up as a date. Am I wrong? Am I wrong for saying that it kind of feels like they're sending this up as kind of like a date? What I think about Firefly so far? She's cool. She's cute. But she does have something to her that I'm kind of curious about. I'm curious about what she's hiding. Bit complicated. Hmm. I have to put on my thinking cap. So this one is a bit complicated. I uh huh. Over here. This, boom, um, oh, nice. There's gotta be something else over here, right? I wonder yeah, it's a what chest. Oops, I skipped her, skipped her dialogue, my bad. <clears throat> Using Kaylee's makes it feel romantic? I feel like I would feel the same even if I use Stele. I would feel the same if, even if I use Stele for some reason. It feels tropey, you didn't like it, but she's cute. Yeah. It does feel very tropey. That's probably why I feel this way. The family recruited many artists, architects, and scholars from across the universe to form the team of dreamers that built the dream of Pentacony. These areas are not developed yet, so guests don't come here. It's not as lively as the town center here, but I relish the serene atmosphere. Oh. Will of preservation. Let's wait and see. Um. Oh god, this is gonna be ass. Wait, hold on. Do I have to do this one? No, I don't. Okay. No, thank you. I'm gonna just chill on that one for now. <laughs> that one looked like ass to do. I was not doing all that. Uh, 
That was the opposite for you? She felt like a little sister? Hmm. I don't know, I guess it depends. I guess it depends. Like, it doesn't feel like- Like, it doesn't feel like it actually is one, but it, it kind of gets off those vibes. I don't know. It, it's weird. But I guess you could just take it however you want, so... It don't matter. It don't matter. It's not like they're, it's not like they're gonna put any labels on it anyways. We moved from that building to this building in the blink of an eye. <laughs> this would be impossible in reality. I don't think Hoyverse would ever actually dare to put uh, to to give the uh, a main character a love interest. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Ooh, yes, the Calyx. Good, finally. What is this? Oh, not doing that right now. Kiana May, okay, Kiana May is different, yeah. Kiana May is different, but for every other Horrorverse game, I'm not sure. Actually, no, with, you know, th there's the other game. Um, what was it called? Um, but like for Honkai, uh, Star Rail, and Genshin, I don't think they would dare. Tears of, th Tears of Themis? Yeah. It, right? Themis. Wow, look at this. Nice view. What if I just like accidentally... Oh, you can't. <laughs> if they did, buildings would burn? Yeah, basically why they would not do that. Most Hoyverse has done so far, as far as romance is holding hands for Kiana and May. I mean, I did see, I did remember see, um, what was it? I think Sele and Branya have kissed before, right? And Honkai Impact 3rd, I do remember seeing that. I'm not so sure about the main characters, though. For, like, main characters in, in their games, I don't think they would go as far. In the manga, they kissed? Yeah, basically. Some dreams jigsaw puzzles are unstable and may move to another location in the scene during interaction. Follow the instruction to receive to retrieve the scattered pieces and complete the puzzle. <sighs> what exactly went wrong? Is it because I've gone for too long without drinking so glad? Or because I've been working overtime for two months? Yeah, so Why don't I have any inspiration today? And so glad really is like a drug. <laughs> Bye-bye, Elza. Um Give yourself a break, dude. Uh, who's there? Why are there guests here? Y you know what? I don't care how you snuck in. Just leave me alone. You prevent me from finishing my work on time. I'm gonna make you pay for it. All right, my bad, bro. I'm just telling you to like take a break or something. This person's emo gear is missing. TikTok. We uh, we can obtain the required gear using the emotion absorption. I feel there might be gears close by. Let's go find them. Colin and Yai Sakura. Oh yeah, that is right. I do I do remember that. And Wealth has a wife and kid though. Yeah. I think for Honkai Impact, third, they they do go as far as that. They do go uh more into love interest territory. But for Genshin and For Genshin and Star Rail, I'm not sure if they wanna go canon with some with romantic love interests. Like, they do hint at them, but I don't think they want to be, like, explicitly canon. For whatever reason. Was the other puzzle piece taken away by it? Oh, well. <laughs> Time to die. Repent! The strength. My ears. 
I should not have used that actually. I should have. Why did I do that? God damn it. I'll see you off. I'm on guard. Genshin and Honkai Star Wars have much larger audiences, so they had to keep that plausible deniability. Oh shit, why'd I do that? Oh god damn it. Yeah, they do have to keep that plausible deniability. They have to keep it free for the audiences to like enemy. Guess, I guess. Okay, this sound is bug, yeah. Make the TVs happy, they'll give you energy. I'll try that next time. The consequences are mine to bear. Boom. Oh, yeah. <gasps> what is Do I not have the gear still? Oh, no, I don't. Hmm. Probably up here then. Ah, you see? I told you this would be a great spot for a date, right? Check this out. Isn't the view enchanting? That's impressive. Got a lot of good ideas, you do. This place has a great view, and you can't see all of the golden hour from here. So, how are we going to leave? <laughs> We're not climbing the ventilation ducts again, are we? Ah, uh, that, well... There's gotta be a way. Don't think about that much- Don't think about that much stuff. Let's enjoy what we've got now first. <laughs> They're, they are going to be in a predicament. <laughs> there you go. What exactly? Here you go, dude. Here's your happy gear. <laughs> I've got it. What a brilliant idea it is. I must write it down on paper while it's fresh in my mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sure I'll forget all the details when I wake up from sleep. Uh, there's no better time than now to put it to action. Mm. He wandered off, but he left behind the puzzle piece. Thanks. Huh. There are emo dials missing specific gear in the dreamscape and cannot be tuned. However, you can obtain the required gear using emotion absorption by exploring the dreamscape. Pay lots of attention to these people. You'll receive additional surprises once you fix all of them. TikTok. TikTok. Thank goodness this one is, e is simple and easy. I suck at jigsaw puzzles so much. Support guide will appear in certain specific overworld gameplay. Follow support guide and finish the corresponding operations to arrive at the destination for the current mission. Okay. Wow. This place is really complicated. It gives me a headache every time I pass through. Not only do we have to activate the dream's eye, but we also have to close it a couple of times to get through. I get it. I get it, I get it. Yeah, I feel like this will definitely give some people motion sickness for sure. I have a slight feeling that there's going to be a lot of people who just cannot finish this or have to take a lot of breaks in order to finish this because they, they get motion sick. Wait, did I have to do this? Uh, 
No. I have to make it up there. What am I doing over here? This quest feels so much longer than the Xiancho. True. I like that though. Oh wait, this is how I'm gonna have to do this. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, there we go. I love these puzzles. These are actually super cool. Thank you, your local sleep paralysis for 13 months. Welcome back. Thank you, your local sleep paralysis. Firefly, Firefly feels tropey. You're sorry, but she's cute, though. She is a bit tropey, yes. She is a bit tropey. Nice. A little bit, yes. I will agree with that. Oh, finally. There won't be too many hindrances after this. Oh my god, that big ass. That big ass dinosaur over there. Will of preservation. Let's wait and see. What is the cloud song? Um, this area wasn't guarded the last time I was here. Uh, half my frequent comings and goings started drawing attention. These big dinosaurs. I don't think we can get around them. It's like a pizza Knocking dinosaur. Is the only way to go. I'd at long last this baseball bat of mine has found its purpose. Let's get rid of them. Repay. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Why did I do that? God damn it. I didn't mean to I clicked inside of my screen again and it did that. Nothing major. How's the T-Rex going to cover those little arms? Hey. He tries his best. Damn. Well, what happens when you hit it six times? I don't want to say. I was getting enraged. Lance ablaze. Lance. Forward. It has. Okay, well. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. Holy Jesus. I would love to weakly break these things, but I don't have. I only have fire, fire trailblazer, in order to do that. No, I should focus on the other dogs first, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's a good idea. Eternal return. Oh, that thing's about to be angry. You chose the wrong. I'm on guard. Uh. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! These enemies are more tanky than in the other worlds? Yeah, they, they kind of are. Chaos gonna suck. I forgot about that. Heaven, sir. Rise. 
Like, it's taking so long for it to... I'm, like, chipping it down. I'm literally chipping it away. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Since Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move. Does it overheat? Oh, okay, no, I can't. You can't run. If you hit it enough times before it does that uh, fire ring attack, does it overheat? I wonder. Oh, I don't have a thing for March. Yeah, shoot. Arr. Uh, Let's do that. For now. Try that again. Lance ablaze. Lance. Forward. Oh my God, Locha! Jesus, this shit hurts. Oh my goodness! Jesus Christ! Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep attacking it and damage it enough. Oh wow, we just broke it. Well, I mean, whatever. Owie. Try that again. Ow. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> yeah. Who let bro cook? Ow. Try that again. Eternal slip. The dead return. Also, I noticed I'm on 200 ping for some reason. Why am I on 200 ping? You chose the wrong enemy. Oh, you can freeze it. It wasn't freezing this like entire time. It was weird. I sent a storm. I want to see it. All right, well, it's gone. <laughs> I didn't get to see it. This is the place. Yay, we did it. Oh, the music. Someone's singing? Where is the sound coming from? And where is that coming from? <laughs> we really are about to go through the go through the date trope, aren't we? we Oh you boy. heard of this song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. Oh boy. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery. The people and the dreams without being disturbed by anyone. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. <laughs> wow. Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express nameless. And me. Everyone falls asleep here equally. Regardless of our different agendas. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. I knew it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know that. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... 
that I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Penaconi locals. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. Family takes them in, but they don't. They don't belong here. Mm. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penaconi, but. Some have dreams. that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So, I want to give it a shot here. That was a beautiful shot back there, by the way. I know the feel. What's your wish? You can't run away from reality. Hmm. Also, they cook with this song. They cook with this song, I will say. They were cooking up in there. What's your wish, though? Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? No. It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away. Oh, damn. And the process is barely noticeable to others. Oh, damn. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. So how could I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. Mm. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. That's understandable. Just like this moment. That's understandable. I mean, that's real. That's, pro that's probably like a real experience people would go through or people would want. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. Mm. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least, I really hope things don't turn out that way. Hmm. Hope so too. I can't make any promises. I can't put my trust in someone who hides things from me. Who exactly are you? Two of these options are very mean, but. <laughs> I'm gonna put my trust in her. Screw it. I'm gonna put my trust. She doesn't seem like a bad person. It doesn't seem like a bad person. I'll put my trust in her. I'll put my guard down. All right. I'll put. I'll put it down. I'll put it down. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth. Beautiful. And a new sapling emerging from it. It 
bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. Pretty half flowers. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water. And the future that you don't want to face will never come. Mm. Why do people choose to sleep? I think it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. True. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? I don't know, eat some food, take a picture, maybe. Oh my god, there's actually so many options. Pom Pom would cool us down with water from a spray can. <laughs> what? Don Hong would tell us dry jokes with a deadpan expression. Classic. Himiko would make coffee for us. Mr. Yang would try to change the subject. And March would force us to take a selfie with her. True. Um. Hmm. Why not the selfie? Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. Oh, shit. Selfie with Firefly. Sure. <laughs> I can say I don't think so. <laughs> I'm so surprised they give you that option. <laughs> I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. That's so funny they give you that option. The girl hands you the phone, her eyes fill with expectation. You take the phone, launch the camera app, and switch to the front-facing camera effortlessly. Then extending your arm, you hold the phone at a distance, ensuring both of you are captured in the frame. Wait, let me get ready. I'm good. Let's do this. One. Two. Say cheese. Cheese. Aww. That's he. That's he. That's a fire picture right there. That was fire. <clears throat> Are we all having fun? Lots of fun, sure. But something feels off. Doesn't feel very real. It's odd. I can't describe it. Yeah, well, we are in a dream. That's the stopping point right there? Oh, okay, I see. I saw a guy wearing a plaster head sculpture at the auction, and he walked off without doing anything. That's pretty suspicious. I also had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated. It's best if we meet up face-to-face. -face. Me too. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on. Let's say goodbye, Golden Hour. Okay. 